Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new live stream. I'm excited to say that we are going to be streaming some Cosmic Eclipse today. Uh, we're going to be streaming some decks. I do want to play uh, Dark Box here, kind of updated Dark Box. Um, I also uh, want to play with uh, Naganadel Guzzlord. I don't really know how good my list is right now for the deck, but this is what I've been kind of like picking together. I don't really know how to... Uh, build a neg guzzler deck so hopefully like in today's stream y'all can help me build decks and kind of figure out uh, What we can build here, so that's kind of the idea and uh, yo Eric Benson welcome to the stream dude Thanks for coming in like straight up in the first like 30 seconds. That's awesome, dude Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, we're gonna be playing around with some Cosmic Eclipse deck as obvious as it tells us first time watching you live Yeah, Luke. Um, I don't really stream too much because I just don't have time but literally I'm home alone for the entire weekend right now and um it's like i it's literally the perfect time to stream new set came out everyone's hyped and of course i'm home alone so it's easier for me to stream um because no one can interrupt me other than my dog which i do have to look after my dog this weekend so i might have to let her out once or twice in this live stream so that'll have to be the case build a beast box stack using new ultra beast things yep there's a lot of cool things in this set. I really like to. I do like the set. Yo, Elber, dude, welcome to the stream, brother. Just in time, bro. I just got on the computer. Yeah, welcome, dude. We're gonna be playing around with some Cosmic Eclipse decks today, and hopefully, you guys can give me some ideas for deck builds for Cosmic Eclipse. I'm trying to build a deck around again at El Guzzlord um, GX. I don't really know how to play it. Um, this is kind of the version I'm playing. I'm using Miss Magius and like Ultra Beast tag switches to try and make something work. I don't really know how good this deck is though. So that's why I am streaming today, so hopefully I can get help. Sup, LDF? Yo, John, how you doing, man? Thanks for stopping by on the stream today. So I got, <laughs> I have a Dark Box deck built here with <laughs> the new Guzzlord. Uh, I just did a video on Flygon today. If you haven't seen the Flygon video, make sure you go check that out after. I got Flygon. Uh, we do have some decks we can play. I don't have all of the cards from uh, Cosmic Eclipse quite yet, though. Unfortunately... Uh, we got the Blastoise deck I made a video on. Um, I don't have all the Cosmic Eclipse cards, but I am planning on playing a few decks today, especially Arceus Dialga Palkia. I do want to try out that deck too, so we're probably going to uh, play some Arceus Dialga Palkia decks or something like that. There's a lot of cool things in this set. This set gave us a lot of good decks to play. It's awesome. It is awesome. So if you're just kind of tuning in the stream, welcome. Um, so... We're just going to kind of favorite all of our decks here. I may or may not do Attorney, too, in all honesty, do an Expand Attorney. Whimsicott GX is broken with the new Cottony with Lost March, because you can use Memory Energy and Fairy Charm. Hmm. That actually sounds interesting. Is Cottony a one energy attacker? Let me check this. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start like playing games once more people kind of come in. Uh, Cottony. Oh, yeah. Lost March, 20 damage. Hmm. That is interesting. That is pretty interesting. Whimsicott, Lost March. Never thought of that. You can play, like, a bunch of Chaotic Swells, prevent them from power planning your Whimsicott. That actually sounds pretty good. All right, so let's just play some Blast... Lo Blastoise, Pip-Up, Quagsire, before we kind of get into some of the Naganadel decks that I want to play, or the Guzzlord decks I want to play. We'll uh, just play around with this deck here for a bit. But I am excited to be streaming again. It is nice to stream, like, just because I haven't streamed in so long. It's literally been... Like a few months back since really since unified minds came out it's like the last time i actually bothered live streaming okay uh just gonna pass with the cowgirl in the active just in case hi yo alessandro welcome to the stream thanks for stopping in okay so we're playing against quagnag like Leo, um is kind of a hurdle we do have a few attackers though that can take it out so it's not really a big deal there's a lily We'll see what kind of new cards they play in Quagnag. See what we draw here. We drew a Viridian. All right, well, I think we're going to have to go for a uh, Dedenne here. I'm not a fan of playing Dedenne. I'm getting rid of a few important stuff, but it is what it is. I got to do what I got to do. We're going to lose a Great Catcher. We probably don't need Great Catcher, though, in this matchup, to be honest. It's not that important. Uh, there's a Vault. We'll put that down. We're Viridian away the water. Get a water energy out of the deck. Seeker of water energy, the beautifulest energy of all time. We'll jet geyser, force him to switch. We get Lily here for a nice big hand, and if we don't get an energy, I'm gonna cry. We can also get a whooper down. 
get that quagsire started. One of the issues is some people don't have great catchers, so custom catchers are still thing. Hopefully uh, we don't run into any. And there we go, we got a bunch of water energy. Nice. Okay, so well, high water attached to water energies, probably to... I want to say Volcanian because I want to attack the Keldeo, but I think we should still build a Blastoise. On the off chance, he attacks me with some other attacker. You never know. He might not use Keldeo to take out Kyogre. But uh, yeah, we're going to be building some Cosmic Eclipse decks today, and uh, you guys can help me out build some of my decks. I don't really know how I want to build Neganadel Guzzlord quite yet. I'm still like, I don't know how to play it. I don't know if it's like better with Malamar or whatever. The build I'm using is using Miss Magius and like a bunch of other Ultra Beasts and Tag Switches and a bunch of energy like, and using it with like Low Punny Jigglypuff and Machamp Marshadow GX. I don't know how good the deck is though, so hopefully in the stream today, you guys can help me build some decks. But I think after this, we'll we'll play the uh, Dark Box deck using the new Guzzlord. And we're also playing Red and Blue in the deck. So Dark Box gets a nice big upgrade with this set. I think Dark Box really does get a lot better with this new set. Like, I haven't recorded tomorrow's video yet, but... Like, I, I only woke up maybe like an hour ago. Use the new Ultra Busted Reshi Rom. I actually don't even have any Reshi Roms, Albert. I just haven't really bothered... Like, I don't really know if I want to make a video on it, because it's like, every other person is going to make a video on it, which in turn means it won't get many views plus it's i don't know it's not really it's like too competitive i it's it's weird it's weird okay so we got a bunch of water energy which is good should be able to find a switching card here for i'll oh, we'll get rid of the keldeo we should be able to find a switching card here for the uh kyogre and then we want to we want to get Quagsire and Switch so we can attack with Sun Blast. No, we didn't get the Switch. Ah, oh, dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! We did not find a Switch. We could do Swirling Waves, but the problem with that is we lose all our Water Energy, so that is definitely a no go. I think we just gotta. Except the fact that Kyogre is getting knocked out. How is it not competitive? It does 270 for 3 energy with Nagandal. Well, it is, it's too competitive. Like, it's too competitive for my channel. It's weird because my channel, you know, rogue decks. I don't, like, I, and plus every other YouTuber is going to do a video on it. So, not even going to get many views. I'm not even saying, like, it's all about views. It's just, it is kind of all about views. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's a deck that's going to be kind of overdone. You know, some people might not want to see it. Plus, you know, I'm not a competitive channel, so... You know, Hitmonchan deck using Clefairy Doll. Yep, I do want to try out Hitmonchan. That's the thing I love about Cosmic Eclipse. We have not gotten a set like this in a while where, like, we've gotten a bunch of new cards that are either good or they're just going to make for fun rogues or decks that are going to make other decks, older decks, better. That's what I like about this set. This set it was so needed because we needed the format to have a bunch of new decks. Make a Trev dust video jokes. Yell Swallow did them all. Yeah, I saw that. Yell Swallow did like three or four videos on it. But I, it is an interesting card for sure. I mean, some people predicted that the card would kind of lose value with this new set. Um, because it's like, oh, the card's not that great. I still think Trev Dustnor has potential to be a really powerful deck. So, yeah. Okay, so we have a pretty good turn here. We can... Hmm. Actually, I don't even really want to go with Sauna Blast because we're going to get knocked out. But I think I'll go for it anyways. Too good not to do. Uh, we'll get rid of just double Cherish Ball. Pretty pointless. The only uh, the only problem with this, though, is he Resolute Blades my Volcanion. I don't like this. I do not like this one bit. We're going to have to go back with Kyogre. Still, though, it's good to get 100 damage on him. Hey LDF, yo Abbas, how you doing man? Thanks for stopping by. That's true, it does have a lot of good non-GX cards. Yeah, like, there's a lot of them. Like, when Unbroken Bonds came out, there was a lot of fun decks I made. Unbroken Bonds was like the best set in terms of like, growth on my channel and like, uh, views on my channel. Like, it was just, and I had a lot of fun with Unbroken Bonds. Like, a lot of fun playing with Unbroken Bonds decks. And what? Why is he attacking me with Quagsire? I'm actually really surprised he's not just Resolute Blading me, but okay. If Volcanian lives a turn, all the better. Especially if I can hit a great catcher here, or I can Mallow Lana heal and then retreat to Dene. That'd be pretty cool. But like, 
Cosmic Eclipse reminds me of that because there is just so many cool cards. Most, like, most of the cards in the set are going to make decks better or, like, just, you know, better. It's weird. Hmm. Is he going to knock me out with Quagsire? It looks like he's going for it. He has to commit all his energy, but we don't have enough energy in play to knock him out. Which kind of sucks. So we're going to have to go back with Kyogre. We're going to have to use high water to get more energy in play. That Excadrill that can do 120 for one energy. Yeah, that's another good one. And Oh, we didn't get an energy? Bruh. Uh, we're going to have to use um, the energy on Blastoise then. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, when might get another Wooper into play? Uh, we'll scoop up the Dedenne here if we can. Just get that out of harm's way. Oof, this is going to be a pretty truck. A truck. This is going to be a pre pretty tough win. I really want to see the new uh, Galaden Expanded, the one that's Psychic and Fighting. Yeah, that, that that might be better in Expanded than in Standard, to be honest, just because of all the types. Dude, I love the new Oricorio GX with Amulet Challenge on Bench. I, I honestly think Amulet Challenge is a card that people should play in their deck if they play a lot of um, uh, Dedenne's, because you put that card on a... Uh, oh, he is playing Custom Catcher, rip. That's fine, though. We got Blastoise ready to go anyway, so no big deal. But um, I really do think Amulet Challenge is like, you need to play two of them if you're going to play like multiple Dedenne's because you can just put that on a Dedenne and then it just won't get knocked out as easily because you only, you only get one prize. So it's actually a really good card for Dedenne. Tag Whistle, for example, and Great Catcher. Also, that's a volley with Rotation Disc. Yep, those are all good cards too. The Sovali is pretty bonkers. He stamps me again? Okay. Or she does, I guess I should say. Okay. So we need to find our Lana's Rod. We can knock him out finally and uh, get somewhere. Get Wooper back. Ah, Wooper's prized. Okay, well, we have a Lana's Fishing Rod to help us out. Okay, we didn't find it, though. We did get a great catcher, which I do like. I guess we just knock him out with Splashmaker. We are going to power up Kyogre because we might have to uh, knock out the Keldeo here. If we can find a switching card, that'd be good. Okay, we got a Water. So we can attack with Kyogre here, knock out the Keldeo, and uh, hopefully maybe get like a Malolana top deck here. Move Blastoise, knock out Keldeo. So an IV tag team should be good because it can gust if in the active for one grass. I don't know. I feel like that Venusaur Snivy card is better for its DX attack. Like, its DX attack is actually pretty powerful. Doing 50 damage to everything is pretty good. I think that is kind of how the card will see play. It's like, its ability is too, it's good, but like, the problem is you have to have it in the active spot. And that's not like amazing. How many supporters have they actually played? A lot. So we can try to stamp them at some point. And yes, they are going with Caldeo just like I predicted they would. So we might be able to win this game after all, after we take out this last Keldeo. We'll see he has another one. Kind of wish I played Power Play, not gonna lie. Can we get a Malolana here? No, rip. We can Dedenne dig for it. How many switching cards do we have left? We have a Super Scoop Up, we have a Switch, we have a Switch Raft. Not a fan of those odds, to be honest with you. Okay, we're gonna burn this. I mean, we can still stay in the active, though, for one more turn. Well, I guess we'll get knocked out by Blastoise, though. Come on, give me a switch. No. I can retreat, but then lose all my energy. And then I guess I could do another high water with the other Kyogre, sure. Doesn't seem great, but we weren't able to hit one of our many switches there, unfortunately. I guess I shouldn't have put back the Dedenne, but I didn't want to Dedenne this hand away. All right, more energy. What's our other prize looking like? Viridian. 
Snivy Tag Team. Yeah, I already read that, Kappa. Yeah, if you're just uh, tuning into the stream, welcome. We can try to scoop up our Blastoise, though. That is something I definitely want to do. Uh, he does get another Keldeo in play. I don't know. This ain't looking good. I don't know if we can win this, man. We just don't have enough answers to the Keldeo. If we were able to, at if we were able to attack with Volk that one turn, maybe we could have won. I don't know. I do. Sh I should probably change up this deck a little bit. Like the list is fine and all, but like, I don't know. It's weird. Kind of thinking to play Power Plant in the deck. I know we have Keldeo though, but like Keldeo itself is a problem. Hmm. They're gonna have to GX me here. So, uh, we could try to tag with Lopunny Jigglypuff. That could be an option. Still have a few Kyogres left. Okay. Not even a bother. I don't really think it matters at this point. We just take out this last Kelio though, and we should be good. He still didn't get that Lana's Fishing Rod. And I can't really afford a Dedenne here. Now we'll see how this goes. We can't get that Wooper back, man. Yo, try Togepi Jigglypuff Cleft with Togekiss Ancient Trace Expanded. Yeah, that's definitely something I do want to try out. Why is the last few Weezings based on Disruption? The Unbroken Bonds can do 10 damage to everything. The Hidden Fates 1 discards 2 cards, and the new one can do 10 damage. I guess just because Weezing is just one of those smoggy Pokemon. Try a Silvali Alolan Persian deck. Yeah, I don't really know what to combo with Alolan Persian quite yet. I was thinking like Alolan Persian with like Fairy Ninetales. I play like Unergy, just have like a really cool Wally deck. I don't know though. I don't really know what I wanted to pair that with yet. Yeah, they can knock me out with Nagana though. We can knock them out though with Blastoise, which I do like. Honestly, we need to get back that Wooper. We can Hydro Pump the Keldeo. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of the Lopunny Jigglypuff then. I don't know. This is going to be a very hard win. These Keldeos are pains in the butt. Maybe we should have kept that Lopunny Jigglypuff. Whatever. kind of too late now oh man I can't do much with this hand can't do much the new wishy-washy GX is godly dragon majesty wishy-washy yeah that'll be fun and expanded though with aqua patch there we go we finally got the whooper now we can maybe get the ball rolling a little bit did I forget to Viridian there I can't even remember to be honest with you I, I've stopped paying attention to this match a long time ago We'll uh, see what my opponent can do, though, this turn. They have six cards left. How many Cynthia's? They got one. If they were out of Cynthia's here, maybe we could like try to stall them out of the game or something. I doubt that'll work, though. I don't think Quagsire's knocking me out here. Am I going crazy, or is Quagsire actually killing me? I kind of regret getting rid of that low punny now. Volcarona GX with Decidueye is the best meme. Yeah, that would actually be a funny deck to try out too and expanded Volcarona Decidueye. Actually, I should probably... I'm going to do some notes here of stuff I can play. Decidueye. Volcarona. Just so I can remember some of these deck ideas so I don't forget them. Cleffa. Ig. Togekiss. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see what happens here.
Hey, first time watching you live stream. Love your videos, especially the salty reaction. So funny. Thank you, Twig. I do try to actually be as I try to be as less salty as I can nowadays, just because it's like oh, it's controversial. Um, but yeah, thank you, man, for the support. Okay. Any customs? Hmm. I do have an idea here. This might, I mean, if they have custom, they can just knock out Blastoise. We might be able to win this game after all, though. We can do this. We can high water back two energy, and maybe we can knock out the Keldia. We still have another great catcher, right? Yeah, so Quagsire is going to have to be the way to go. I mean, I got to hope they prize their custom piece here because they can just custom catcher the Blastoise Pipple Boat, knock it out, win the game. Or I can draw a super scoop up and get it off the board. Try the Hitmonchan Trio with Clefairy Doll or the new Wishy Washy GX or the new Steelix. Yeah, I'll definitely be trying out the Hitmonchan deck very, very soon. There's so many decks to play from this set. I love it. I'm going to be playing around with the new cards, though, before I kind of revisit the old stuff. Oh, they're decked out. Oh, let's say I have double custom here. We win the game. They're de they can't even Cynthia. They have six cards in their hand. We might have just won due to deck out. They got to have a double custom, though, if they're going to win this. This game came way closer than I thought it would ever come. I feel like I played this game a little stupidly, though, to be honest, but we'll see. Do we just win here? Or do they actually have the double custom catcher? Do they actually have double custom? They're going all in. We'll, uh, we'll see. Do we just win this? <clears throat> or do they actually have the custom catcher piece? No! They didn't prize their other custom. Oh my god. That game was just... That was a silly game. That was... The Keldeo, man, it's so good right now. It's so good. Alright, let's switch over to Dark Box Guzzlord. Alright. Hey, old off topic, but I have a Fire Rogue expanded deck that I'm pretty sure you'd love. How can I send you the list? Uh, best way to do it would be comment on a video with the deck list linked or at me on Twitter like a picture of the deck list. I really like the new Flygon. Yeah, Flygon GX is awesome. I literally just did a video on that today, so if you haven't seen the video on my Flygon video or Flygon deck, you can check that out. I just uploaded that today. It's a pretty good deck. We actually somehow played against three Dark Box decks like in a row. One of them was more of a Mewtwo GX focus deck, and Flygon with Fighting Dojo when you're behind in prizes can do 280 damage. It's with Diocese in play. It's really good. Where is Caracosta GX? I thought it was going to be in this set. I think it's going to be a promo like Trevenant Dusnor is. It is a good card though. And Resolve could be would be good in this deck. Eh, I don't know. We don't have any dragons. Slow roll and double custom. Yeah, it is what it is. They wanted a Meme on me with 11 energies on their Quagsire. I was hoping their custom would be prized. I really hope if that double custom piece would have been prized, we would have won the game there. Oh, really going to go watch that right now then. Uh -huh. All right, man, if you're going to go check it out, uh, make sure to come back after Kappa. Also, sniped a Martial Arts Dojo from one. That is, ooh, nice. I got my, I got one one fuller Martial Arts Dojo today for four packs of Cosmic Eclipse. It's like the cheapest stadium, but like it's one of the, like the better. It's still a good stadium. Like it's better than like Aether Paradise and Mount Coronet. Even like it's just better than those stadiums. I think, especially with the potential of Martial Arts Dojo, with a few cards we are getting and have right now, it's a pretty good investment to try and get a few of them. You never know; it might go up in value. The best snipe I got this entire uh, weekend was, I want to say, a s I. I don't know. My best snipe might have been a Secret Rare Fire Energy for 11 Cosmic Eclipse packs. But that was like on the first day. So I can't really say. How much is Silvali? 8, 7 Cosmic Eclipse packs right now. So like in total 14 to 16 normal packs. Like 
that's pretty much it. What are you playing? I am playing Dark Box with red and blue and with the new Guzzlord. Rubbing against ADP. I don't know. How many RCS Diaga Palkias do I need to build ADP? Because I only have two right now. Oh, the answer to three is definitely on the board. We do have a pretty good hand, though, I would say. Double Sneasel start is always good. I mean, I did get into Dene GX for seven packs on day one, too. That was a pretty good snipe I got. I was able to snag that. I did get it. Well, I did get a Silvali GX, too, for five Unbroken Bonds packs, which is also really good. So, I mean, I did get a fair share of, you know, decent trades. Nothing outstanding, but... I did, I was mainly just trying to stock up on Secret Rare Energies. I think we'll just get Dark Ride GX. We could use Dark Moon on Keldeo. Actually, if that even works, but I think Dark Ride GX is more important here. If, especially if we hit this guy, we can knock him out or something. The new non-GX Guzzler can take six prizes of UKO a tag team with Beast Springer on. Dang. It's pretty nuts. Not a fan of this hand we got, though. Unfortunately, <laughs> we could Dark Moon them. But they already energy switched, so we're gonna have to just sacrifice Sneasel. That was not a great Cynthia. The new, yeah. The new Beast Bringer card's pretty good. Okay, they're gonna all GX me. Alright, that buys us one more turn. Still no Weavile, that kind of sucks. I did get a few Seeker of Dark Energies, though, for like 20 uh, Cosmic Eclipse packs, which is a pretty good deal because this card is like 75 packs, and it's only going to go up. Seeker of Dark Energy is one of the most sought-after Seeker of Energies. It's the second most expensive right now, uh, just behind... Um... Do we let him knock? I don't even want them to knock out Sneasel. That's the only issue. I guess we have to let him knock me out. It's the only card I can see me losing. I would take out Nag from Dark Box now. I know like red and blue is good, but I still think the Gandal is needed in Dark Box. You could KO a Gengar a Mimikyu. Yeah, that would win you the game. What version of Lost March better, Wim or Jump Pluff? Probably a mix of both. I don't know. The Whimsicott build probably is the better build just because Whimsicott GX is a fundamentally better card than Lost March. Okay. We have no energy in the discard, so we'll bring out Naganadel here. Can we please draw something so I don't lose to just terrible draws as I usually do? Come on, let's see him. Top deck. <laughs> Bruh. We won't get the effect of it, unfortunately, but that's fine. We are going to get the Weavile GX into play, though, so we can at least attack with Darkrai. Yeah, if we had a supporter, we possibly could have just dark mooned him. That makes me pretty sad that we're not going to get there. We can black lance, though. So we'll put him to 210 H... 220 HP, actually? Maybe we can knock that thing out with Tyranitar. I mean, I might want to hit the Rayquaza, though, then I can knock it out with Guzzlord. Can I play against you? P.S. I watch all your vids. I don't really have any good decks. But it would make my day to play against you. Maybe later, Joker. I'm kind of just going to be playing on the versus ladder today. And I might do a few tourneys after. So if you have an expanded deck, you can hop and do an expanded tourney. We can play there. The new support with the new Natu Evolution that if you get heads, you can put your opponents active. Yeah, the new Zatu is a possible meme. Oh, he's playing scoop ups. Rip. And he gets heads. Oh, but he doesn't heal the active. Oh, custom catcher question mark or great catcher? See, if we had a good hand, you know everything was going fine. We could Mallow Lana heal this guy, but unfortunately, we aren't getting there. We are going to take three prizes though, which is pretty good, bro. Uh, this is pretty annoying. Not gonna lie, I hate, I hate that drawing, dude. It is the worst feeling on PDCGO, but we're taking three prizes, so hopefully that means we don't get draw. And I think I'm going to hit the Rayquaza. 
Actually, no. If we hit this, we can maybe knock it out with T-Tar Sableye. We can always knock that guy out with T-Tar or with I don't know. Maybe we should hit for Guzzler. We better get a supporter here, though. Oh, no. They win the game. Oh, get out of here. God, I hate that drawing, dude. Cheeses me. Actually cheeses me. <sighs> Maybe I should have just attacked with Weavile there. I get so triggered when I dead draw, dude. It is actually just the worst feeling on the planet. The worst feel. I hate raging there, but jeez, dude. I oh, It just triggers me. The new support will help. Yeah, I already read that. All right, I have a few expanded decks, but they are meant to be standard, but they got expanded after rotation. Yeah, it's all good. I don't know if I'm going to be doing expanded turn wings right now, though. What? This hand's even terrible. My gosh. This deck sucks. It's bricking too much. Maybe I should cut out... Maybe I should go to a 3-2 Naganadel line and throw in another draw supporter. I'm starting to think that might have to be the case. Because our starting hand is pretty miserable. I guess we can do Nocturnal Maneuvers. Alright, well, let's see if we lose this turn. Yeah, he wins right now. He got four prizes. Yep, unfortunately. What's the worst tag team supporter card and why? In my opinion, it's Bryce Man. Bryce Man's one of the best. I think it's the Misty Lorelei card. That card probably won't see much play. Okay, how long are you streaming? I don't know. I mean, I got all day to stream. I'm, I'm home alone. I just have to look after my dog. So I might have to, like, let her out a few times in this video. Fortunately, we're going to have to do Nocturnal Maneuvers to thin, but at the end of the day, it is worth it. I think we'll get these three. We did price the Guzzlord. Or should I get the Titar Sableye? Eee. I think I'd rather get Darkrai. We could Dark Moon him next turn, which is probably what I'm going to have to do to maybe buy a turn. We'll keep our bench spot open for Dedenne. I might stream for a couple hours. I mean, I still have to make a video for tomorrow, so there's that. But again, I'm, I'm home alone, like, all day, so, like, I'm going to have all the time in the world. See if they knock out Weavile here. That'd be pretty bad. Misty is good because you can reuse a water jet check like Bonnie, but you have to discard five cards from your hand or something like that. That's the only issue. So it's kind of weird. I still think that like the Bryson Man card is really good for Pidgeotto stall decks. Is there a good new non-GX deck from Cosmic Eclipse? Yep, Gallade, Steelix, Empoleon, uh, Dusnor, Golurk even could be decent. Uh, Blacephalon gets added to, like, Malamar. Alright, he's gonna be able to get off an attack here. He can knock me out with Tag Bolt, too. How many, uh, Q packs does? Wait, what do you mean, Joker? Uh, do you search for the three energy and then choose to discard, or is it all at once? I think it's... I... I don't know, I haven't used it yet. I'm pretty sure it might be like all at once though. That's like the issue with it. All right, he's going for a tag bolt. There we go, I got a Dene. Though I can't really play it right now. Actually, I guess I have to. Ah, oh, that's gonna suck, we're gonna lose. A few prizes here, but we could still win the game. We could still win this, even if he takes like two prizes. We ain't out yet, folks. Darkrai shouldn't get knocked out here. He's played one Electro Power, so... It's looking pretty good. We'll hit that Raichu. <laughs> Set that guy up to be KO'd by Titar. How many Cosmic Eclipse packs is Breaksard and Megalopunny GX worth? Breaksard is around six to seven packs for the regular art and the full art. And Lopunny Jigglypuff you can get for like three to four Cosmic Eclipse packs. 
Sokolo tag team is basically a psychic Reshi's art. Yeah, technically, but in that regard, you can use a Malamar. I actually think the new Sokolo Lunala is like pretty good in Malamar. It's like it's a good attacker. It's Jet Attack's pretty insane too if you get to use it. Okay, let's see if he what he's gonna do here. If he has custom catchers or great catcher, he can take four prizes, which is really concerning. We do not get the Pika Rom here with Darkrai, which is really good, so we might be okay. We can red and blue the Ditto into a Weavile, which is what I'm going to do. Ah, okay, nice. Yeah, so the Jigglypuff is not that expensive. It's like, it's one of the best GXs in the set, but like, it's not very expensive because not many people really care for it. Okay, I have to blow my nose, guys, because... I'm still a very sick boy. Unfortunately, I've been sick for the past three weeks. I still have a bad cough too, which kind of sucks. I'ma hop on my PC and watch your stream while playing. All right, Joker, sounds good. Okay, and before this guy gets three, three, three things to knock me out here. I think we can still knock him out though, even if he gets all three things, all three electro powers. Ah, oh, he does have customs. It's fine though. If he knocks out Weavile, we can always red and blue it. I started taking Mew out of my decks recently because I didn't think it's as good anymore, but I am starting to reconsider it. That really sucks we lost our uh, reset stamp, but I think we could still win this game. I think this win can still happen. <laughs> Maybe we should take Super Scuba out of this deck for throwing Pokey Gear. Okay. I think we're at the red and blue away. Do I want to get the extra energy in play? We already have four, so that is pretty good. What would I get rid of? I guess like Darkrai. But we might need Dark Ride. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. We have enough energy. Wait! Oh no, you can't evolve Ditto! Bruh. Okay, well, good thing I didn't discard cards in my hand. Ah, oh, I forgot. You can't evolve Ditto. That was a pretty big fail. Wow. That's fine, though. Again, we can still win this. It's not out of the picture yet. This thing is gonna get knocked out by Black Lance. We can find Great Catcher here. There's Guzzlord. We have one great catcher left. Is the new Amulet Challenge Jirachi deck possible to make right now? Elo Unlucky. Yeah, that was a pretty big fail. Um, yeah, you can actually make the ban. Yeah, the uh, yeah they haven't banned it yet and expanded. I don't think because you can still play like Reset Stamp and Marsh Shadow and Miss Magius and expanded. What about Mew Three fighting with Flygon and Colossus attackers? That could be pretty cool. We could definitely build that maybe uh, on stream today. Yeah, red and blue is not working at all. The new Sylvia, the new 160 if you play Tag Team Supporter is a good card, but the new Alola Ninetales broken, expanded with Bower Presser, and the new Dusclops. Interesting. Absol Volley GX to take advantage of red and blue. Yeah, you know what, Abyss? I definitely could see Sol Volley being good here. I think we should cut out Naganadel and go to like a 2 2 line if we're going to play red and blue. Yeah, the bands go live on the 15th. Do you think the new Alternate Cosmo will be a deck to consider an expanded? Yeah, I think it's good and expanded for sure. It's it's all playing expanded in Japan. Do you think the new I'll try to read that Kappa? Have you seen the new little putty jigglypuff R and R so cool? No, I haven't. I'll have to check it out. What are your thoughts on the Creation Trio deck? Well, I think Creation Trio is gonna be a very good deck. Some people were saying, Oh, it's not that great in the new format's better and expanded, but surprisingly the deck in standard right now might actually be pretty good. Oh, he gets double heads. Rip. 
Okay, well, we have a good hand. We can Cherish Ball for Weavile. We do quite a bit here. He will paralyze me. But we have Switch and Scoop Up. It's all good. Two hundred and twenty damage. I wasn't even paying attention. Ooh. Okay. I'm trying to think here. How are we doing this? So Pokecom put back Darkrai. No, we just win. We just switch into Naganadel. Derp. <laughs> I took the bot potion. I completely forgot. We just play Switch. I was trying to, like... Okay, what's my big brain play this turn? Can we win? But no, no. We just play the Switch. We win. LOL. Okay, yeah, we're gonna edit this deck a little bit, I think. I might even take out the Ditto, because he can't run in blue with it. <laughs> do you have any Cosmic Clip uh, bulk on PDCGO? I do have a lot of packs on PDCGO, yeah, but... <laughs> Those Cosmic Clips packs are only really trading for secret energies and cards from the set that I need. Okay, so... I'll edit the deck a little bit. <clears throat> I got a cough. I'm gonna mute the mic here real quick. Okay. So let's edit the deck. Switch retreat, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh, I got this big brain play. But yeah, I just had to play the switch. Okay, so... We can... Thin down the Naga line. I think Scoop Up's a pretty bad card, in all honesty. I think Scoop Up's pretty pointless. We're just going to take them all out altogether. We're going to try to add some type nulls to the deck. I think I still need another Silvali, though. <laughs> we can play this guy for the meme. Then your basics have no retreat. Yeah, let's do this. Let's split. Having this guy might actually be a lot better. Thoughts on the new beware and the new Fion. The new Fion is actually pretty good, honestly, against Keldeo sometimes. My deck is four red and blue, three three Weavile, two Susil Volley, red and blue, properties, dark art prisoners. We get energy on board, so nag isn't necessary. It makes it inconsistent. Interesting. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll look at the new no punny jigglypuff here. Ooh, yeah, it's a pretty sick artwork. I actually do like the alternate artworks I did for a lot of the cards in this set. I like the Nagandal Guzzlord one. You could still use the first F off red and blue to search, but it might only be worth your running two to three Evos. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so... I think we should throw in another red and blue. Um, we have one spot available. I think we should add another Sneasel. Are you willing to create a creation deck? Yeah, I am planning on doing a video on that. And I do want to uh, make that deck on stream today. I just need to get one more Arceus Dialga Palkia. I have a trade right now on pubs. Because I don't really want to pay 8 packs for it, which is what it's worth. I want to pay, pay like 7 or 6 packs for it. So that's the thing. You might be desperate to get a card... But you don't want to overpay for it. You never want to overpay for it. Does the new Bird Trio get anything from this set? Any OP additions? Not really, unfortunately. Yo, what's up? Yo, Timmy, dude. How you doing? Thanks for coming by on the stream today, man. Um, okay, so what do you guys think of this list? Should I change it up a bit? I kind of add. I want to add more supporters, like more draw supporters. I guess we can take out one Dark City because we have the Silvali GX. Throw it in Erica. I just want to run more draw supporters so I don't burk all the time, even with two to Denny's. All right, here's what we're working with. We'll roll with it, Kappa. But let me know if the Nagandal just cut, get cut out altogether. Nuzzle Raichu and the Nuzzle to Denny is a great landing deck. I might do a video on that soon, too. That could be a fun deck, probably a budget deck, too, which is nice. Okay, so Dark Box, red and blue. I'm just gonna, I'm writing down a bunch of deck ideas right now here in my notes. So I have a bunch of video ideas stocked. Hi, yo, Donald Gagnon, man. How you doing? Thanks for coming by on the stream. And SD 
MG, how you doing? Thanks for coming by on today's live stream. I have before brought booster codes from Potown Store, and I'd like to support you on the Car Cavern TCG by using a code. Are they 100% legit? Yep, Car Cavern is 100% legit. Instant delivery, instant email delivery on your PDCGO codes, and you can use code LDF45 to discount your order. Car Cavern is the place to get codes. It is, yeah, definitely worth it. Okay, so we'll go into trades. So yeah, I have a trade up for ADP. I'm trying to, I don't want to overpay for it. I don't want to pay eight packs. I want to pay seven packs. So I'm going to try to see if that trade will go through. Uh, but we'll go back to the dark box deck. All right, thanks. Yeah, no problem, man. If you do order them, make sure you use code LDF to show your support. All righty then. We'll do another game with the updated dark box here. Let's see what we're up against. Mm, looks like Malamar maybe. Malamar is so popular on this game right now because of how easy it is to get that Necrozma box. It's actually like the most annoying deck to play against too because of Spell Peg and Giratina Loops. Alright, we win the coin flip. I like to see it. What does Dark Box mean? It means you, it's, you're just playing a deck with a bunch of Dark type Pokemon and Weavile puts the deck all together. Hey, I'll tried Rosa Malamar yet. It's actually pretty stable. No, I haven't. Sounds interesting. I hate Malamar so much. It It's just like... It's like a good deck, but like everybody plays it. So it's like... It's annoying. It's so popular on this game because it's so easy to access. Trust me, I hate playing against Malamar too. Uh, I don't really think we need... No, if he's playing Alternate Crossman, we do. And Dedenne. Okay, we didn't get a Sneasel. That's unfortunate. That's fine, though. We'll just do this and pass. I think I will by using a Green's Reshizard because it can be pretty cheap when you can just buy the Reshizard promo. Only $2 per Reshizard. Yeah, it's cheap. It's a bit of a cheaper deck to build. Not as expensive as Abilities Art, I'll say that. What's the best way to get commons and rares on PDCGO? Uh, that's kind of tough to say. The best way to get packs is really get codes, grind the game, do trainer challenges, complete the ladder, do tourneys. Mali is the gatekeeper for all their non-GX decks, which sucks. Exactly. No, my opponent conceded. We'd have to play against Malamar. You'll love to see it. Malamar. Like, the thing with Malamar, man, is like all the spell tag spam, the Giratina infinite loop. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so, it's a headache to play against. And then everyone plays it on the game because it's so popular and easy to play. It's like, bruh, quit playing it. Well, I mean, I can't stop you from playing Malamar, but it's like, bruh, it's everywhere on the game. We're up against a pure water deck here. Kind of curious to see what deck this is. We'll see how good our start is compared to the last game. Greenzard blows. I don't know. Greenzard is like... The problem is, it's obviously like reset stamp kind of hurts it. Discard the top card you punch Alright, we're going to start with Guzzlord. Not Umbreon Darkrai. I guess we should have started with Umbreon Darkrai. We have Dark City though. We can actually do a big Lily here possibly. We'll see what kind of deck my opponent's playing. Okay, they're playing Blastoise it looks like. Let them KO two Mons, Rosa for an alternate cross, a Beast Ring, and Energy, and explode in their face. That sounds pretty busted. I've seen, I saw a deck that was using Malamar with the new Ivy, Snivy Venusaur card. That could be kind of cool. Here's what we'll do. We'll play this. We'll get Weavile. But, plot twist, we're going to put back the Weavile for a Poipol. Bro, that was like the biggest plot twist of 2019. And we get to Lily Freight. Oh, we didn't get any energy. Sad face. We have a red and blue, though. I like to see it. Uh, is that a pass? Looks like it's a pass. I think Megalopunny and Jigglypuff is a really nice addition to Mew Mew and Reshizard. Megalopunny Jigglypuff is a really good card. It scares me to play against too because it's like you can't bench too many GX Pokemon or else that thing just comes in and destroys you. Like playing against that card is pretty pretty scary in all honesty. You have to be really careful with what you bench. 
boy be mad he knows i got a pretty good start though we got three pokemon down that we needed we got the three boys sadly we are doing 130 but we can attack with dark Rye next turn maybe if this dark city doesn't get bumped we can attack with dark right here we know he's not playing Keldeo because there's no, um, there's no, uh, abilities. He might be playing Make a Little Punny Jigglypuff, though. Now, there's an issue we gotta look out for. I might just bench the other Type Null, to be honest with you, so I can get Double Silvali. Oh, we're up to 41 viewers. Welcome, everybody, to the stream, if you're just tuning in. Oh, he's going to get a Misty Lorelei. So he can reuse his GX attack. We have a Malolana. We have, I think, two switches. Great Katrine. Okay. That works, too. Now we don't have to retreat. Cool. Oh, but he plays Power Plant. <laughs> we don't have a Counter Stadium, either. That sucks. Yeah, I think we're going to try to double some volley here. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. Uh, we don't have a counter stadium. Uh, we still do the red and blue, I think. Get rid of this. Get rid of the Sneasel. We still have a Ditto. We still have another Sneasel in the deck. It's not a big deal. Get energy and play. Uh, if we had the counter stadium, though, we could get rid of that stadium, so volley and go from there. Any ideas how much Malamar will beat the new Dark Box? I can't really, in all honesty. You just can't. Reshi Rom Mew 3. Eh, that'd be kind of weird, though. Lil Punny and Jigglypuff, Easy Kill, and Pika Rom. They just got three GXs. Yep, that's why it's so good. Guardian is amazing with Tag Call and all the Tag Supporters. Also, Mega Lil Punny Jigglypuff. The only issue I have with Guardian, though, is it struggles against Keldeo. Especially because of Chaotic Swell now. And Mar and they can't play Marshadow in their deck either. They have to play like two Fabas or something. But even then, they don't one-shot Keldeo. They're only doing 150 most of the time. Choice Helmet. He's still mad. Does he... Can he attack me this turn? No. Nope. Alright. What are we looking at here? A Counter Stadium. Okay. I think we have to play it. We did just give him the free splash maker, unfortunately. If you play a supporter, this does 110. All right, good to know. I guess we could GX him, but then he can bubble launch for me. I don't really have a good way to get out of that. So we're going to have to wait a turn and just pray he doesn't bump my stadium again. Alright, let's see. Does he have another power plant? Ooh, Cynthia. That was a good draw. Yeah, true, but I think Keldeo Chaotic Swell decks won't be as popular uh, it because except Guardian, all decks have non-GX backup. It's true. Uh, there's a fighting type Pokemon that uses Psych Energies. I don't know if there is. I know there's Golurk, which is a Psychic type and a fighting type at the same time. The Golurk and Expanded. The easy way to win on PCGO is just playing the Roaring Resolve theme deck Charizard. Yep. That card is op That deck is OP. Since the new set came out yesterday, I've replaced my only power plant in my deck with my Mimikyu Shadow Box ability. And with it, you Distortion Door before playing Mimikyu. Yeah, that the new Mimikyu is a pretty good card. Um, it's nice to have a garbotoxin -y type of effect back in the format. Without having to use a tool, so it's a little bit harder to stop that card. Well, I guess there is that Onyx. It only has 120 HP itself, so it gets one-shotted. Yeah, exactly. Great catcher. What's he bringing in? Weavile? Yep. 
Is he going to paralyze me here? No. Alright, we got the Dark Moon off. Okay. I like the Sylvali. It definitely adds a lot to the deck. Gallade ability, make it a Psychic Fighting. Yeah, yeah, there is that Gallade. Yeah, but that's a stage 2 and that sucks. Eh. I mean, it's possible to use it with a few other things. Okay, so Dark Box Guzzlord definitely worked. Now I want to go over to my Nagandal Guzzlord deck because... I want to try it out. So, I don't know how good this list is, but this is my Nagandal Guzzler deck I've been working with. It might be trash. It might not be. Uh, this is the list I've worked with here. We have a lot of energy, but, like, it's all about using, like, Tag Switch and B-String. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this list. And, like, what's going on. I, I don't know if I really like this list too much, but this is what I'm rocking with. If you guys have any ideas on how to build a Nagandal Guzzler deck, let me know. We can try to play this deck and see if we can win with it. Because I, I don't know how good it is. I didn't really know how to build this card, man. There's a few ways you can build it. I know there's Malamar, but that's such like a plain vanilla way to play it. Um, Malamar, it's just a boring way to play it, you know. Oh, shoot, I unfavored it. Okay, so I'll try out this weird build I have. And if you guys have any way to um, approve the deck, let me know. Actually, I have a way to improve it immediately right off the bat. We should play the uh, new Buzzwool in here. Take out Sledgehammer, maybe. Play the new Buzz, and this way we have an answer to uh, to what's his face to thing. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's take out the Machamp all together. Let's run some Grass energies. Let's play. How many Grass should we play? We should play like one Grass. We have a Beast energy. Will you try the new Lycanroc and Expanded? Yeah, that seems like a decent card. I think even in Standard, it could be kind of fun with Fighting Dojo. Play Flygon is really interesting. I did a Flygon video today. There's a video up on my channel right now on Flygon. If you want to go check that out, that'd be appreciated. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I think I want to add another supporter, Stone of Force Cynthia. We'll call it Naga Buzzbox. Naga Guzzbox, I don't know. Uh, this deck seems kind of trash. It seems way too all over the place. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we should play Electrode instead of Miss Magius. Looks like we're up against possibly ADP. Onyx your Mali to then Spell Tag. I have any honestly, I don't even know what that new Onyx does yet. Yeah, but in Mali, won't it even won't it clunk the deck even more? Yeah, that's the problem. I want to try that new Ninetales deck. It looks fun. Yeah, it's going to be a fun little roguey budget deck. I already saw the Flygon vid. It's really cool. Just lack of consistency. Yeah, there's a few changes I'd make to that deck for sure. I probably would take out that baby Zygarde and probably try to run more red and blue. I think Poke Gear actually would be good in the deck too. Just to find red and blue. <sighs> nope. Get this garbage out of here. Don't play. I'm not playing against Bird Control. Not today. Nope. Screw that deck. Screw that deck all the way to friggin' hell. I have yet to play against bird control because every time I see it I just can see because it's like bro I'm, even if I can win the game it's like you screw off like you know I don't want to play against that garbage uh, plan updating your splash boys deck with red and blue and the new Vaporeon yeah I don't know if the Quagneg uh, deck is needed anymore um, I think welder with Glaceon and welder with Flareon is the way to go now I think that's where all the new hype is at that new Onyx isn't new Forgot the seven hundred twenty HP and hundred damage for three. It's four color synergy actually. I think Tim. That's from uh, Lost Thunder. I think. What about the new Groudon and Flygon? I was thinking about that, but like it has such a fat retreat cost. It's better to play red and blue. It's better to play red and blue. In all honesty. Okay. Well, Cephalon. I think that's a fine matchup. We're gonna put back. Ooh, I kind of wanna. I don't want to reveal the low punny Jigglypuff. But I also want to have the Pheromos and play for the Fruit Treat. So we're going to have to reveal the Megalopony Jigglypuff, Kappa. <clears throat> we can maybe touch down, knock out the uh, Poiple here. 
Hello, yo Nori28, welcome to the stream. Welder does nothing for a Porygon GX if you plan to heal it. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking Glaceon with Welder. Glaceon is way better for uh, the Welder decks. What about the new Groudon in Flygon? I already read that. Walt. Yep, four color synergy. Sorry, that's yeah, all good, man. The new, that Onyx, I mean, it is still decent for Malamar just because of the that's a big hit for weakness. Welder can't be used to invade Porygon decks because you need to water to do damage and heal. Yeah, I know. But if you, we well, only need one energy. I'm talking Glaceon with Welder. That was the build I was using. Glaceon Welder with um, Flareon. Yeah, I think is the way to go. Uh, he got the turn one Blacephalon. possibly. Never mind, you already touched Beast Energy. Ooh, Beast String. Okay, Miss Magius. Help us out. Can you send the list that you're playing, please? I want to play Neg Guzzlord, too. Yeah, after this game, I'll show it. I don't know how good the deck is, though, to be honest with you. I really don't know how good this list is. Uh, I hate to give him the Ultra Space, but I need to get my boy. We didn't get an Energy for Buzzwool Rip. Uh, we'll take Cynthia and Duststone. We should have taken Tag Call out of the deck, actually, I just realized. Hmm. I guess Duststone. I don't think I'm going to name his Magius again, because he's most likely going to knock out Buzzle here. We'll see, though. I guess I could do him as Magius now. If I can get a Beast Energy here, we can touch down, knock out the Poipul. Or if we get the new Beast Tool card. Oh, we prize him as Magius. We would have had Alana's Rotted anyways. Rip. Whatever. The new Jolteon is most unused evolution, even though it can reduce energy by one cost. Yeah, the new... All the three evolutions are good. I think the evolution box deck is going to be hilarious, because you can play... Up to eight EVs, or nine actually, counting Ditto Prism Star. So it's like, you have a lot of ways to get them into play. Alright, there's a Welder. Yeah, he's going to be able to knock out Buzzle here. The Blacephala matchup doesn't seem very good, to be honest with you. Only one energy discard. Awesome. But we have our B string turn, and we can knock him out. Okay. Dark and Psychic. We'll get another Naga Guz. We could put back Buzzwool. Who knows, you might need it. Lana's Fishing Rod, though. It's one of my favorite cards in the set. I just am so happy we got Pokemon Search back, but also get back a tool. OP, if I whiff an energy here, I mean, we could still GX him, but then we get knocked out. Ooh, we did get a reset stamp, too. Yeah, I'm going to play that. Should we put this guy down? We're going to be doing a lot of damage with Beast Energy. It's 90... Touchdown will be 90 plus 40 is 130, so we're not going to get it out with this guy. Sure, I'll put him down. Why not? Let's see how this goes. Ooh, we can play Miss Mankius, but I don't want to because then if he knocks me out at any point, I lose. You're gay. LOL. I don't know what to tell you, soccer, but uh, where is this? Remove. Bye bye. All right. How can I share one of my deck lists with you? The best way to do it: comment on a video or DM me on Twitter. My Twitter is usually linked in the description of my videos. Miss Magius with the new Blounds is broken. Miss how that the new Blounds man ew, that card is insane. I was thinking about putting it in here, but again, it's just weird. Are you ever gonna get a point where it's gonna be needed? Ah, I reset stamped him into the... Yep, of course. I gave him the perfect hand to knock me out. Oh my goodness, bro. 
Like, why? <laughs> My reset stamps are so bad. They never work. Reset stamp never works. Though I do like this Naga Guzzlord deck, though. This might not actually be too bad after all. Oh, wow, well, I didn't mean to take that. I better take out Tag Whistle. Where is it? Tag Whistle. Okay, now we have some more slots open. I guess we don't need Coach Trainer. Ugh, Lily seems kind of silly, stupid, though. What supporters would you put in here, guys, if you could? Hmm. There's a lot of room open. What's the name of your dog and what breed is it? It's a Bichon Poodle and her name is Misty. She's 13 years old. Jokes. Ah, it's all good soccer. Just, uh, don't say it again. Okay, with Mali, you could have your opponent take three prizes, knock out your team, and then play Blacephalon, spread 12 damage counters forever, and then play a Spandy Oxus. Yeah, it, that, the new Blacephalon is nuts. So in Malamar Mirror, is it uh, best to go second so they attack first and get three prizes before you control the damage counter race, maybe? Probably. Guzman Hala. Eh, it get, gets his beast energy, I guess. I don't know. I do. Okay, we're going to put another Pokemon here. We actually need to play a few Pokemon for Violent Appetite. Maybe throw in a third Misdreavus. Should probably play more Ultra Beasts. But, like, I don't know which one to play. That's a sad thing. Like, we could play Belcephalon. But are we ever going to get to the point where we have exactly three prizes remaining? That's the problem. I could put Dust Mane. We don't have any metal energy in here. It doesn't seem very good. We could double down on the Feramosa. That doesn't seem bad. I guess we could put Buzzmos in the deck. Because we do have Grass energy. It's a tough decision. Hi, LDF. Glad to turn to the stream. Yeah, man. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Oh, she's a ga granny. Yeah, she's an old dog. I've had her for since 2006. I love if you could build a Roxy Sprite deck with Mimikyu and Weezing Coffee. And yeah, I'll definitely get to that soon. I don't have enough Roxies yet, though. That deck will have to come down later down the road, though. Try out Nog GX or Guzzlord. Yeah, I guess Guzzlord. We, I don't know if we have enough Dark Energy, so we only play three Darks. I guess, like, we could play one Venom Shot. I don't know, though. Maybe, I guess we could play Kartana. Hmm. Could play Ultra Necrozma. I don't know. I do want to at least play one more Pokemon in this deck. Just because we need it, obviously, for Violent Appetite. 188 damage for 2 energy, accelerated by Coco, please. By Coco PS. Make a Como deck with U-turn board. Yeah, the new Como is kind of funny. Please play Wishy-Washy GX deck. I only have two, but I definitely do want to at some point. Hey, a little Dark Fury, it was fun to have a match with you. I was playing the Blacephalon deck. Hope the rest of your stream goes well. GG, Captain. GG. Man, I thought the reset stand would have stuck on you, but unfortunately it didn't. But yeah, GG, dude. Stock a GX. That's not bad either, but like... It seems like a liability being in play. Just like... It's an easy... I guess it is nice, because then it gives your Naganadel a lot more HP. But then we have to worry about switching it. We only have one switch, one Malolana, so I'm not really a big fan of playing that. I think, honestly, we just play like a Kartana. In all honesty, because we have the Grass Energy. Let's just roll what we got. Maybe we could throw in a third Naga Guz. I don't know. Let's just roll what we got. Let's just see how we do with what we got. We'll even record so I can add this to a video, Kappa. Okay, we're up against... Looks like Mew 3, maybe? I don't know. Alright, let's see if we win the coin flip. No, we don't, Rip. Maybe sell a Steel a GX? Eh. I don't know, though, if that card's really needed. I remember back in the day when I thought it was, like, immune to GX Pokemon like Keldia, but it wasn't. Ooh, we start with Naga Guz. I don't like that. Hello. Yo, Mathis, man. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. I do appreciate it. Ninkata. So they are playing Mew 3. 
Wishy-washy could be busted and expanded with Skyfield. Yeah, it seems to be like a hilarious card and expanded with all the other wishy-washies. Okay. Oh, man, let's see. I don't think this matchup's bad. We have a few psychic attackers. Megalopony Jigglypuff also comes in and just destroys Mew 3. Assuming they have another few Pokemon on the bench that can go, we can attack. So we can Chaotic Order here. Hmm. Which I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Jue to Dene. Okay, so we'll bump the stadium. Ultra Space. For another Naga Guz. I do want to get another one into play. Alright, LDF, I gotta go. Had fun watching, waiting for videos on non-GXX from new set in a clean week. See ya, bro. Yeah, see ya, Abbas. I'm definitely gonna be getting some non-GXX up soon. Oh, that was a bad Cynthia. Uh, that was a bad Cynthia. They're playing the new Mew Mew that won the big tournament journey. Yeah, they're playing towards build. Well, they're getting ready for a Mega Lopunny Jigglypuff coming in, though. I do like to see that. Hmm. Well, we do have Nyla Higo. We can maybe try to get Nyla Higo to nightcap, copy Maraka's duo. Assuming he doesn't get a Drachi in play. Is Naganadel good? Yeah, all the Naganadels are good. Every single one of them that's come out so far. Okay, so Low Punny Jigglypuff is doing a lot of damage. I like to see it. Ah, uh, we could have went for Chaotic Order Rip. Guess now's a good time to do it. I don't even want to counter that stadium because then they don't have shit in ya. Alright, let's go Bill. Ooh, we got Mallow and Lana. I like that. Um, Gotta take Pokecom and B-String, I think. Those are the two logical choices. Fiery Flint and Elm's Lecture. There is like Cherish Ball, Acrobike, Skateboard, and some other good cards where you get new promos and some of them I like some of the new arts. Yeah, I've seen the new arts. The Fiery Flynn art's kind of funny. Nuts. Mm. Fiery Flynn Elves Lecture. How do you get the secret rares? Just trading off a bunch of packs that I have, pretty much. Alright, let's see if they get the shit ninja here. Hmm. Oh, they're retreating. Looks like they're going to knock me out here with the Charizard GX. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe I should have taken the Mallow Lawn. Because <laughs> I could have played it here, retreated, healed, and uh, went for Cat a Quarter. We could tag switch, go for Cat a Quarter. I guess we got to do that. Guess we got to do that. All right. No, wait. I need the extra. Pro oh, I read that wrong. Oh, I thought it was only two energy. Isn't there a secret trick to get them or something? I think Dark Integral has it. He has a uh, demo account. He has a marketing account, which pretty much is gifted to YouTubers. But that was a long. That was like three years ago when they were handed out. So they're hard to get. Like, you can't get them anymore, I don't think. Because, like, I've talked to people. You can't get them anymore. But you do get four of locked every card. I've always wanted one, but like now I don't even know. Like I mean, I, I it would be really good to have one, obviously. But like I, I like collecting now and like building my account up and being more richer. But at the same time, having a demo account would be insanely helpful to the channel because then I can just make a deck on anything I wanted. I didn't have to trade for it. It's like I mean, I can still get anything I want in this game at this point. But like just having four of everything is really good. So I don't really know. But there you can't get them anymore. Like 
Because, like, the people who handed them out, they do not work on the game. So, they are no longer available to hand out demo accounts. So, you can no longer get a marketing account. Back in the day when I asked for one, I only had, like, 500 subs. But nowadays, I think I would be able to get one. I mean, I almost have 2 million views. 5.8 thousand subscribers. I probably would be able to get one now if I asked. But, like, they don't hand them out anymore. Alright, let's Ultra Space. Let's get that Naga Guz. We also have touchdown, Buzzwool. Oh, let's get the Naka Guys. I think this gets better. I do want to get energy on it, but I'd also like to bill here. And the bill kind of let me down. So I'm going to find a treasure there for Miss Drevis. Which we didn't get, so never mind. That did not work out the way I wanted it to. I don't know. I do like this Naga Guz deck. I don't know how I'm feeling about it, though. I, if you guys have any other ideas on how to play this card, let me know. I guess we could play like a more standard Naganadal Beast Box deck. Oh man, I don't really know. Okay. There's Dark. Put that there. We'll Ultra Space. We'll get Mischievous here. We'll play the Cynthia before we do Mysterious Message. That's not really a good hand. Bruh. What am I looking at? Wow. What a hand. What a hand. I have never seen so much energy in my life. That's disappointing. Well, we're definitely not doing dead A change. Yes, with ends resolve um, and a lot of energies. Yeah, that is an option too. I forgot about ends resolve working with this guy. Yeah, maybe we'll try that out after. Yeah, maybe the Engine's all version is better. Dude, that hand would be perfect for a Malamar deck. Yep, Malamar would have loved this hand, but unfortunately, it's pretty bad. He's got a lot of energy in play. I mean, I want him to knock me out, and then I get B-String. But I don't know if I want to uh, Dead A change his hand away. It's not looking very good. We could put the Beast Energy on, and then Jet Pierce actually one-shots uh, Weavile. How do you have money to buy so many booster packs? Well, just working, getting money. Well, I don't really buy that many booster packs, but like tourneys and stuff like that, pretty much. Plus, I've been playing this game for five years now, so like I've just accumulated a lot of stuff on this game. And I've I've done all these methods, you know, to get all the cards I need, to get richer on the game. That's pretty much how it worked. Hey, right, he's getting the big boys. Malamar, maybe. Ah, that's just such a like a Kind of boring build, though. That's the only problem with Spawn. Yo, Carmelo, man. How you doing? Thanks for coming by on the stream today. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Okay. So they can uh, Black Lance me here, which is pretty bad, because then we get knocked out by Greedy Crush. Actually, no, we don't. Plus, we can heal. What am I saying? I'm an idiot. Cones aren't expensive. No point in buying packs unless you actually play in real life. Yeah, codes are cheap, but I don't play in real life. It's just too expensive for me, unfortunately. I just can't really afford to play the game anymore in real life. It's too much money. I got, and I can play a budget deck, obviously, but, like, I don't know. It's not worth it. I don't even, like, drive, so it's not like I can drive to my local leagues. And I don't know anyone anymore that plays in real life in my area. Only a few people that I still talk to every now and then. Let's see, we draw. Oh. That is a good top deck. That saved us. Okay, we're going to Violent Appetite heal ourselves. And we're going to Cynthia. All right, we better get B-String or Dedenne. 
or neither. That works too. Bruh. Now we should keep that for violent appetite. Ah, uh, you hate to see it. You hate to see the whiff. That's really annoying. Well, depending on if he gets a Sharpedo here, we might not get Dark Moon, which is good. If you want to play, uh, did you want to play then in Standard and Expanded? Um, I don't know. I probably won't be doing Viewer Battles today, but if I do an Expanded Tourney, you know, we can join. Maybe I'll, I'll finish the stream off maybe with an Expanded Tourney. Do you play with viewers or no? Yeah, I, I do, but, like, just not today. This is more of just a, a testing stream on the Versus Ladder. But if I do an Expanded Tourney today, you can try to join if you can. I'm not going to reveal what deck I'm playing, though. But the deck I will be playing is a very good expanded deck, so I'll say that. I'm not gonna be, you know, playing like just like a rogue. It's gonna be like a like a powerful deck. Sorry guys, once again gotta blow my nose, so I'm sick. Of course, one card off! Wee hee hee! Why am I surprised? Okay, here we go. Let's get this buzzwool. I'm gonna violent appetite. Still in range of getting KO'd here, but we can, uh... Well, not knock him out. Depending on what he gets, we might not even get KO'd and lose the game to T-Tar, though. Alright, we gotta play the Bill. Let's see who we get. Oh, no way to get to Dene! Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. Okay, we could do this, I think. I think we can move one energy. Can we keep one on the uh, Guzzlord? Yeah, that seems good. Hmm. Yeah, this is not good, guys. This is really not good. Alright, so when is the end of the stream? It's just, I'm from Europe right now, so it's evening. I don't know. I've been streaming for about an hour and a half. So I'll probably be streaming for a couple more minutes. Or a couple, <laughs> couple more minutes. No, I mean a little bit longer. I think we lose here. Ah, this deck is trash. This deck's trash. Trash dick. Alright. That didn't go well. Alright, so when is the end of live stream? It's just I'm from Europe right now. It's evening. Oh, sorry. I read that wrong. Yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna stop live streaming. Haven't figured out yet what time. So I guess... Here's what we're gonna do. The ends resolve version does seem to be pretty good. I think I need a few more ends though. Yeah, I only have two. So discard the top of your deck. If any of those basic energy attached to one of your bench, dragon pull pump. So here's what we do. This will be the baseline of the deck. Let's take that out. It's gonna look too clunky. Five darks, one beast. And before beast energy gets discarded every game. We have to play a lot of energy though. I do still want to try out that grass energy combo for that puzzle card because that seems like a pretty cool idea. 14 energy. Don't know how that'll work. Will we be streaming an hour or something like that? So maybe close stream down and hop again an hour. Yeah, I'll probably be streaming for maybe another hour. Free ends resolve for everyone. I would appreciate it. Add Naga GX for draws. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so we'll do this. Man, this card is hard to build around. 
The only problem with Naga, though, is the amount of Pokemon we're going to discard with Venom Shot, but I guess we would add it. Could play a bunch of those guys. Play that Buzzwool. Could play the Feramosa. Okay, so... Space. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for this deck too, by the way. Play that new Beast Tool card. Hmm. Alright, see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the stream again in like 20 minutes. Bye. Alright, <laughs> see you, Joker. <coughs> Alright, we gotta add B string. Hmm. The only problem with that is resolve, though. If you discard any bad cards, it could really suck. You need Miss Maggie's B string reset stamp first turn. Screw the ability. Yeah, I don't know. Man, this is hard to build. I have 15 touch resolve. Add me, I'll give you some. Okay, Savan. Uh, what's your IGN? I'll give you an egg guzz too. All right, thanks, man. What is your IGN? So I can add you. Hopefully my friends list isn't full. I have to unfriend someone. Uh, I don't know who to unfriend though. It's too many people. It's too many people. Uh, I have too many friends. Xerneas12352. All right, let's get you added. Xerneas12352. Alright, sorry Vez180 if I've ever talked to you. I apologize. Alright, there we go. I sent the friend request. Thank you once again. Thank you uh, once again, Savan. Screw the ability. Add Onyx and Tag Switch. Okay, let me see this. What is this new Onyx? I actually literally haven't even looked at it yet, to be honest with you. This one? This one? I don't know. Is it this one? I don't, I'm so confused. Uh, one thing before I go. How much uh, does it cost to build a green dress deck if I already have the welders and stuff? Uh, not that much. Uh, again, the the Reshi Zards are promo, so they're a little bit cheaper. Uh, to get a break Zard or two, it might cost you a few packs. Again, it's it goes for around like five to six uh, Cosby Cliff Packs right now to get a uh, break Zard. You to Lady Me Man Uncool. Was that you, Albert? I didn't even know. If that was you, I apologize. I'll uh, re-add you in a minute. I, I just have way too many friends in this game. Um, I have way too many friends in this game. Like it's, And I don't like talk to any of them. So it's like... It's... You know... It's just a clunky friends list. That's one advantage having a demo account. <laughs> All right, thank you, Savon. Are they to keep or to borrow? By the way, just uh, just wondering. Okay, so let's get back to the deck. So, what else should we add? We should add Nyla Higo. Could add a lower ball. No, nah, it wasn't me, lol. <laughs> okay, Albert, just making sure. Keep them. Alright, thank you, Savon. I do appreciate it quite a bit, brother. So, do you guys have any other <coughs> recommendations for what else I could add in here? I guess Poke Gear is needed to find N. <coughs> <coughs> oh, man. Sorry about the coughing, guys. I hate being sick. Alright, let me know if you guys have any other uh, recommendations of what else I should put in here. What else could get added? Uh, let's add the Cartana. Actually, it is might be a better idea to play more Fairmos Cartana because it has a free treat, right? We start with it, we do a turn one end to our Naga Guz on the bench. Seems like a good idea. We should probably put a switch or two in here. I guess we could play Jirachi instead. Just pulled a Rainbow Flygon. Nice, bro. That's a good card. Pokecom, oh yeah, Pokecom, and Treasure. Yeah, Treasure and Pokecom, you're right, guys. Okay, you know what, screw it. We're, that... We're gonna take out this Buzzle idea altogether. Just doesn't seem like it's working out. 
Okay, well, we need at least one switch. Uh, but yeah. We need comms. We don't really need that many comms, though, uh, because of the ultra space. So I'm not too concerned about playing, like, an insane amount. But the treasures. The treasures. Oh, let me tell you. Four treasure. And maybe we can play one comm. Again, we don't need to go insane on the comms because of ultra space and treasure. Jokes, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's all good, Albert. It was just a funny meme. Okay. Hmm. I guess we can play two of these. Sure. I wouldn't mind lore ball because if we if we just spam discard a bunch of nagas here to heal and draw cards, we can play lore ball. Maybe get like two at a time back if we get double heads. But lore ball seems like a pretty trash card. This is the only issue. But what other supporters could I put in here? I need I need to play more supporters than just N and Cynthia. I am starting to consider that Drachi idea, but if I play the Drachi package, I have to play Skateboards, which is annoying. Rainbow, Blounds, and Full Art Volcarona, same pack. Nice. That's a pretty good pack. Volcarona, Full Art's a, a good card. Cherish Ball? Yeah, but cher I, I feel like we're fine on getting Pokemon. Do we need the Dedenne in here, do you guys think? What other supporters would you put in here? Guzma and Hala... Eh. I mean, you get the beast energy in the tool card in the ultra space, but like, I don't know if it's really needed. I just pulled an ultra to Naga Guz. Nice. I like the artwork on the card. Um, man, what other what other supporters would I put in here? Maybe Bill's analysis. But I want to play a draw supporter. I guess we should play like a reset stamp actually. I guess stamp is needed. One stamp. You could also rely on green with power plant. I mean, that would work, but like, then you don't get the access to ultra space, and I don't really know if I like that too much. Hmm. Tiff decision. I mean, we could play like, I guess we could play one energy switch with if we ever do evolve into charging up Naganadel, but at the same time, Tag Switch is better, so we should probably just play Tag Switch. Oh yeah, I still have it on Supporters, Derp. Uh, man, I don't know what to run. I could add Lily, but like, we're relying on N here a lot to help us out. I guess we can go one Rod, one Lure Ball. Just because Lure Ball can get us back those other Naganadels. Dang, this is tough to build. I could play Center Lady. We can heal 120 damage a turn. I pulled a Gold Lana Rod. Nice. Nice. Getting a couple gold of those will be good. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know what else to play for draw supporters. It's kind of tough, to be honest with you. I mean, we could just try Tank and just, like, play Great Potions. I guess I could play more Ultra Beast in general, though. Just to try and like, yeah, I guess we have like the ultra conversion draw support. So I guess not like the end of the world. I don't know. And this is a tough deck to build. Do you think lower ball is better than Brock? Yeah, 100%. In this deck anyways. Hmm. Like I don't want to just play like one random one of supporter because it can get discarded very easily by end resolve but we're only gonna be looking at maybe one end a game especially with the uh, b string but i think we still need the three ends so you kind of see how difficult this deck is to build maybe just play the tag switch i don't know this is gonna work we'll see we'll see we shall see this deck was weird to build though not gonna lie This was a very weird deck. Till you flip tails, rip. Yeah, that's the only issue with Lure Ball. Malolana. Yeah, I guess like Malolana would be good. Man, I don't know. Naga Guzzlord. Very hard card to build around. Not gonna lie. Even with End Resolve. Even with End Resolve. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. 
All right, guys, I had to mute the mic there because of all the coughing. Okay, how are we starting here? No turn one end, but the Cartana start is decent. I like the free retreater start. If we had an end, man, we could possibly go for a turn one jet pierce. Like, maybe this deck is just so good. If you get that turn one and resolve jet pierce off, it's really good. Because you only need two energy because you get attached from your hand. Some deck of Guardian? I don't know. Ooh, we might actually get there. Okay. Let's get ourselves Poiful. We did get the end. All right. Let's go for it. And we hit no energy. <coughs> we lost <coughs> Beast Ring. <coughs> oh, that really sucks. <laughs> Rip. Oh, that's a fail. Uh, oh, he's not going to knock me out, though, most likely. Well, I guess he can... I guess he can turbocharge. Okay, apologies for my dog barking in the background. Can't do anything about that, guys, unfortunately. Rip. I wanted that. I wanted that in play. Oh, that sucks. That end rift. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Let's see if he knocks me out. There's no sign of uh, Sogaleo right now. He's not on the discard pile either. Let's give it a new try. I might have to, bro. That was a really sad end. Uh, we could try. Okay, we're going to try to go for a Nagan LGX here, though, and try to draw us a few cards. It's going to be my backup plan. It doesn't even look like he's going to knock me out. Cause he can't lava flow. I guess he can get rid of the one energy. No, he can't even do lava flow because he needs three energy. Doesn't even look like Cartana's getting KO'd here. So we might live and then we can maybe go for another N and go for Jet Pierce. But then he Latios GXs me. Or maybe maybe not Guz just sucks and it's just too hard to build around. I don't know, man. It's just not a good good. Uh. All right, reset stamp is the oddball out. <sighs> See what we're looking at here. Nothing good. Great. Ah, uh, man, that sucks. I don't know. Ends Resolve let us down. We'll try again, though, and see if it doesn't let us down this time. That would be great. It is what it is, though. I mean, the Mewtwo matchup is terrible, because they just Latios me. On Karkarv and Unified Minds Coast, costs have as much as Cosmic Eclipse codes. Or two Unified Minds Coast. Yep, because Cosmic Eclipse right now is not very cheap because of how much its pack value is right now, so that's why it's going to be more expensive than Unified Mines. Right now, I think Cosmic Clips is, like, worth 2.5 packs, so it would cost you two Unified Mines packs and a half to get one Cosmic Eclipse pack. What up, kid? How are you? I'm doing good, Chris. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming by on today's live stream. Thanks for stopping by on the stream today. I got to blow my nose again. Actually, no, I don't. Whatever. Okay, so we're up against the... It looks like uh, Rushizard here. Or Greenzard, anyways. We'll see how that goes. What is the best way to spend coins in this game? Really, it's to buy locked packs, to be honest with you. If you're trying to look for stuff, but I don't know. I usually save a lot of my locked coins for, like, the... Uh, when the new set comes out, and then I can just buy, like, a bunch of packs when the set goes live in the, in the shop. Oh, 150 packs of Cosmic so far? Dang. And uh, how good have your pulls been, Savon? Other than what you've just pulled recently. Not a great starting hand. But what? I'm out of coffee, and I am still thinking I have coffee left. Uh, 
Okay. That was a good top deck. Okay, so we could try for the Naga Guz here. Let's get that boy. Packs or decks. Packs are so random. Yeah, that's the only issue. But if you have a lot locked, you can buy like a huge bunch of them. I guess it's sort of worth it. What do we want here? I guess another Poipal. Okay, hands resolved. Don't let me down. Ah, uh, B synergy. And two Cynthia's. Oh, you hate to see it. Playset a Brigzard, three a Rushy Rom. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Playset a Brig. Yeah. Nice. The three Rushy Roms are good. That is the most expensive card in the set right now in terms of GXs. It's more expensive than like Great Catcher Secret Rare, too. Good. I got Fuller. Yeah, Fuller, Cynthia, Caitlin. Nice. Very good pulls. Nice. Is this like a checkmate deck? Nah, this is just an attacking Guzzlord Nagandal deck with End Resolve. So far, it's not looking too good. Not looking too good. Uh, we'll see if we can attack him this... Attack the Reshizard here. The good thing is we get to draw three cards with Ultra Conversion. Gets rid of a reset stamp. Honestly, I'm at this point, I'm starting to like that Miss Maggie's build more than this Zen's build. That's the thing. That Miss Maggie's build was seeming to work out more better. I wouldn't play Ends Resolve unless you're playing 20 energies. Yes, that's the issue. We only play 14. I found a coupon code on Cracker TCG that has 10% off. Is it okay if I use that one instead of yours? I mean, if it gets you a better deal, then I guess Joker, but it's better, you know, it supports the channel if you use my coupon code, but I ain't gonna stop you. Okay, let's draw three. Try to thin. Okay, three cards we won't lose with Ends Resolve. I like to see it. I really want to attack him this turn. We're not able to get there. If we get rid of one basic energy here, we could have went charging up, retreat, and we get one energy on the Negan Guz off the end. We could attack, but we can't do that. Because we have to touch all the energy with Ends Resolve. Not very keen on playing Ends Resolve this turn either. I think I'm gonna wait a turn because we're not gonna be able to attack him, so there's no point. I'll use Zeres only like a dollar. Yeah, but like that's, you know, that's what five percent is. It's not gonna get you an insane discount, but it supports the channel a lot, which is like the most important thing. It shows support. I think Power Plant plus Greasers Magius plus B String would make you attack turn one. That's the best way for this deck. Yeah, but like the greens was Magius build. No, you can't play green, right? You oh no, power plant shut off. Dang, never mind, never mind. I'm like, what? A, I forgot. Power plant was shut off Nega's ability. I play a pure ends resolve. Reshi Ram is nuts. Yeah, ends resolve and Reshi Ram is insane. But I, the problem with Reshi Ram is, can it really take out all the decks, or is it just too overhyped? I'm playing with the Nega Guz tag team one. Nice. Customs. He's gonna double blaze me here. Oh, he's gonna shut me off. Okay, well, hold on. Before I concede, which I'm probably gonna do here, because I'm not liking this deck so far. Okay, let's do this. No counter stadium. Alright, what are we doing here? Lana's Rod, no. If he doesn't bench anything in a few turns, I guess we just win with Nightcap. That could be hilarious. Let's we'll see if that actually works. Guys, go ahead and get your codes in store. Don't forget to use code LDF45 for the discount. Thank you, Mina. Yes. If you do get any PCGO Cosmic Clips codes, get them over at Cargo for TCG. Use my discount code, code LDF45 for the discount. I, I don't know. I'm really starting to like that Miss Magius build better than this than this Ends build. Because we have to play a lot of energy. And it seems inconsistent to play both an Agandal engine and also playing a bunch of energy. It just seems way too inconsistent. I'll have to revisit Nagandal Guz eventually. I might just... I, I don't know. I really wanted my next video to be on this card though, but it's not looking too good. If he heals all that damage, it's fine. Again, as long as he doesn't bench anything, we can just come on over with a, with a Nightcap. I guess he can custom out this. We'll see. 
We just need to do 230 damage, we can knock that out. If he doesn't manage anything, we'll uh, spit poison. And then we'll go for a nightcap and maybe win the game. Maybe. Depending if he customs me. The way I play it is the control build. You want to try and amulate Handlock, Genesect, GX, Miss Megius deck? Yeah, I'll do that soon, Dominic. I do want to try that deck out, though. It's pretty funny. Okay, so we can still win this game, guys. It is still possible, assuming he doesn't knock me out here or bench anything. We can maybe win the game. I have an idea. So we spit poison and poison him. We attach here with an end resolve and retreat into Nihiligo next turn. Let's see if this works. It does, okay. We actually maybe could have Venom shotted him for the game there if we got enough energy off the end. That's pretty cool. All right, so if he doesn't bench anything or custom me out, we uh, can win the game with Nihiligo. Possibly, or if he somehow heals all the damage. Let's see. No, he's going to get double custom catcher. Is that a concede? No, oh, he's getting mixed herbs. Okay, that's fine. Not really, it's still healing, but again... Oh, and he benches something. Yeah, maybe maybe we can win. Right, yeah, I'm not even going to bother conceding. Maybe we can win, I don't know. I got two Guz Negs now with the Mew 3. I'm Mew 3 with Negus. Miss Magius is better. I don't know. Car cover delivers the code to your Gmail, right? Yep, instantly. You get the codes instantly. No, we can't even knock it out. Whatever. No, we can be tight. No, we can't. We don't. We haven't even taken a prize. <laughs> Screw this deck. Ah, we'll play an end Nega deck, but I think we have to cut out the Nagano altogether. And maybe the deck will work better if that if that happens. So let's go into here. I think altogether we gotta take out these boys. I think we'll play one point pool and just keep that, but we can use those guys for healing. I think we gotta go all in with the energy guys. We have to play a lot of energy here to make this work. Hmm. Maybe the Jirachi is the better way to go, too. Because then Jirachi might find us end when we need it. And really, as long as we don't start with, um, with not Guz, we have a D. Why am I typing? <laughs> I'm typing in the supporters and trainers for Jirachi. Oh my gosh, I'm actually a bot. I am a literal bot. Then I guess we only need one B string. If we could do this. Okay. Now this actually looks like a little bit of a better build. We have a lot of energy though, but we need a lot of energy so that N does not let us down. But then we need to play four N. So I don't know what to take out. Malamar, Guznag. I know that seems good, but like it just seems kind of vanilla. And too, too, too basic. It takes a while to redeem them, but it is worth it. Yeah, you have to constantly click and stuff, but it is worth it. The ratio for end resolve is 21 or 22 energy. Hmm. You play 3 Guznag, 3 4 Drachi, and 2 3 to Dene. And 1 2 Drampa. Can you make the new Empoleon? Yeah, I do want to do that, uh, Sasa. But uh, we're going to focus on some of the GXs first before I get into the non GXs. 3 4 Jirachi, 2 3 to Dene. Maybe that is the way to go. Do you play expanded? Yeah, a lot of expanded. I'm probably going to do an expanded tourney after I figure out how to build this deck. <laughs> hmm. Alright, we'll run one rod. We have one spot open. Front four ends. Alright, let's see how this, this meme goes. 
Can we 1v1? I want to test my new deck. I won't be doing Veer Battles today, though, Savon. But if I do an Expand Attorney, then maybe there. Do you play Expand? You can use Double Dragon. Yeah, I know. Yeah. In Expand, you can use that. Your non GX Tacker is the new Drampa. Yeah, shoot. We don't have a way to deal with Keldeo other than with Kartana. But Faramosa with Beastite, Beast Energy could be kind of hilarious. So I don't know. Let's just try this meme out one more time. Oh, we're up against the fairy deck. Are you serious? We are weak to fairy, guys, if you haven't already noticed. <laughs> Naga Guz, unfortunately, is weak to fairy. Makes me cry. Uh, the Guzzlord Dark Box deck, though, is seeming to be pretty good, but I don't know right now. Okay, we got a draw. She start with a switch. I like to see it. We'll start with my boy Faramosa. Yeah, I apologize for the barking, by the way, but I am home alone, and I gotta look after my dogs. My dog might bark a few times. Malamar Giratina. Yeah, but, like, the problem with the Malamar build, it's just so plain and basic. It's kind of boring. He's playing Whimsicott. No, thanks. Not even gonna bother. We're not gonna win because we are weak to fairy. I don't know how I'm feeling about this deck. This ends Naga deck. It's cheesy me. It's not very good. I don't know. Ah, man. I just don't know. Okay, you know what, guys? We are going to do an expanded tournament now. Let's make expanded Arceus deck after. Yeah, I, I do want to play expanded Arceus with, um, with, uh, with the, with the Dragon Boys. Mainly with ADP, but yeah. Yo, Faramosa, <laughs> she, 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 I don't, I mean, Faramosa's a girl. Guzzlord and Egg can be combined with Garchomp Tag Team. Yeah, I guess there's that, but then you have to play Fine Energy, too. I don't know. Guzzlord and Ganondorf just seems to be too hard. Too hard to build. Alright, so we're hopping into Expanded Tourney here, guys. We're going to try to see if we can win an Expanded Tournament. If any guys got in, good luck. So let me go first. Okay. We do have the turn one Archies. If we hit heads on Order Pads. But Order Pad always gets tails, so we uh, don't have the turn one Archies. Kappa Ross. So, you need to get one energy in the discard pile for the superior energy retrieval. Put the Archies in there. We prize Kingdra. And we'll put the other Execute. Here we go, order pads. We'll get heads. Order pad. See, told you guys, it is Order Pad is one of the worst cards ever printed. Never gets that for me. It was seven after eight after you joined only space for one of us. Uh well, if you guys got in, good luck. We'll have to attack with Espion Deoxys for now. Uh I hate Order Pad, man. In the other Archie's Toys build that I play, I just play Acrobike because I just find Acrobike a little bit more consistent. Acrobike like isn't great, but it sometimes can still help you get your items. Or just bad luck. Ever since I've built this uh built this Mew Archie's Toys deck, Order Pad has yet to get a single hedge, and I did a few turnies yesterday and Order Pad didn't get a single hedge. Like, I don't know. Order Pad just it doesn't like me. It never gets heads. That's why I've never played around with Order Pad before. It never ever gets heads it is just it hates me why not just play transmail or horror pad there is transmail in this deck edward hey yo mathis this is literally azul's deck list from his recent video Ooh, marsh shadow okay well assuming unless i was gonna draw via seeker there this might actually be good okay we got round two with order pad let's see if we get heads this time oh he's gonna end me never mind it's gonna end me. Okay. If male gets heads, we might have it. Or male gets heads. Did I seriously just say that? If male finds me something here, we might have it. Yeah, Acrobike sounds good. Uh, how much? So how much does your wait? So how does your sponsor connect to you? Uh, well, Discord mainly and Twitter. 
do this, play that. Hmm. I don't want to get rid of any basic energies. Okay, let's do this. Okay, how am I doing this? I'm trying to think. We have to superior away the two waters. We've Viridian away the Juniper and bench the Giratina. That's how it works. Now, we are going to be able to use our ability, but this still works out in the end. Sorry I had to type fast. Feels bad, man. It's all good. We don't even have Blastoise in the discard pile. Whatever. I have a bunch of tickets. Don't even care. Free win for you. Oh, my God. Oh, I took the bot potion. All right. Let's try that again then, shall we, guys? I'm back. What decks did you play while I was gone? Um, last deck I saw was the uh, Silvali Dark Box. Uh, I tried to play Nagandal Guzzlord GX. I tried it with, like, Miss Magius and, like, a bunch of Ultra Beasts. It was all right. And then I tried it with End's Resolve, and the deck let me down, poor, like, sorely. <laughs> so I just don't know how to build the card right now. And I'm an expanded attorney playing some Mew Archie's Toys to try and get some easy wins to get a bunch of Cosmic Eclipse packs. And uh, we don't have the turn one Archie's, unfortunately, but we... Yeah, we don't have the Torn Archies. That's pretty much that's about it. Do you uh, always stream on Saturdays? No, it's really just random, Tim. I don't usually even stream that much just because it's hard to make time to stream and also um, be able to stream in general because just I'm always busy and I have a lot of people living in my house. I have an apartment downstairs. I have you know people upstairs. So it's... It, and yeah, it's just always time to find streams too. It's hard. Okay. We might have it. I think we actually do have it. Hold on. Archies, we need to get one, one water energy for Blastoise, for the uh, superior. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Get rid of you and you. Yeah. Big brain plays. I got this worked out. Yes, we get another Mewtwo, why not? This matchup should be pretty easy. Buzzle is not too hard. I guess they can easily absorb Shimmy. <coughs> uh, do you create a Greninja deck and detect a Pikachu? Yeah, I had I did a video on that. I had it as like, a one of in in normal Greninja. And I liked the deck a lot. It was like my uh, favorite ladder grinding deck. What are you looking at here? Ooh, turn one let loose. Okay, let's do this. Put Blastoise, Execute. Actually, let's just put the Execute. We want to dump some waters in the discard. We'll let loose them again. Just brick them, maybe. Okay, try to read this. Uh, I basically won my sponsorship with Honor. That's like a phone call made in Hawaii. Nice. Is a one tag call worth one Cosmic Eclipse pack? Not really. Not really, unfortunately, bro. No pass. Good luck to my opponent. <laughs> no, tag call is not worth one Cosmic Eclipse pack. Two tag calls, maybe. Not one, though. <clears throat> so now I have the money to buy some codes. Nice, Mina. It's always good. Ooh. Double muscle band and Cynthia. Still, though, I don't really know if we can lose this game. We'll see. It's just kind of hope he doesn't have beast ring. Okay. We can Archie's again. How much is Psychic Club doing? 30 for each of your bench Psychic Pokemon. We can get Lele here and knock him out. I don't think Greninja works. Yep, it's not gonna work. Is 
Lele, where you at? There you are. See, I gotta, I gotta think a lot when playing this Mew deck. Bruh. <laughs> oh no, I got the worst options to choose from. I didn't even realize I prized both the Tain Lies and the Juniper. I guess we're gonna take Archie's. Whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure we are knocking him out here with Psychic Club. I could be wrong, though. This is a knockout, right? Yeah, it should be. Yep. Right on the dot. I think. No, 200. Yeah. 10, 10 damage. Okay. Let's see if he has B-String to knock me out. He has four cards in his hand. What are the odds he has B-String? Well, five cards now. Does he have another energy, though, to attack me? Hmm. Yo, thanks for making all these cool decks. You've really helped me uh, make this game fun for me and my friends. Yo, no problem, Black Kid. I do appreciate all the support on the channel, and I do my best to put out the best fun rogue decks I can. Mainly, like, the thing... Oh, he gets an energy lotto. He's really going for it. Uh, the thing that inspired me to make rogue decks back when... Oh, we hit 50 viewers, by the way. Thank you for everyone stopping by. The thing that inspired me to make rogue decks back in the day... Hold on, I'm typing to my mom. <laughs> the thing that inspired me to make rogue decks back when I did play... Oh, of course he had the B-string. Back in the day that inspired me to make rogue decks was, like... When I used to play in real life, I always, like, every week would build, like, a new deck, which was not very good in terms of monetary stuff, but I always was just a fan of making fun decks and, uh, and kind of inspired me to just continue making fun decks, and here we are. Okay, yeah, there's, like, no way he can win at this point. Let's see, we draw Blasters. We can Archie's again. That's pretty cool. Give me that secret of water energy. That beautiful, beautiful water energy. But yeah, I've always just, like, back in the day, once again, just a big fan of making fun rogues and uh, never stop me from continuing it. We actually, we might not even get a knockout here. No, we can just Venom Shot. Wait, does Venom Shot work? Yeah, it does. I can't Archie's, though. Should have kept a water in her hand. Oh, I kind of screwed. Mm, kind of screwed up there. Still, don't see how he's winning, even if this is kind of weird. Yeah, I don't think we can lose. It doesn't matter if we didn't get the Archies there. I didn't really play this game very well. I was trying to talk and think, so it kind of like screwed my brain up. But he's can't do B-string anymore. There's no way he'll take me out. I had the same issue. I try to follow the stream during my breaks. If you want, I can send you my funky Ultra Necrozma Malamar deck. I'm still working on Sparta Line now. Is it the new Necrozma though, Timmy? I don't know though. Uh, B-string makes you have speed. That is unlike... Uh, that is very unlike normal Malamar. Exactly. I don't know. Uh, really for now though, I'm just going to be looking at a lot of the new cards. So it's kind of like, you know, whatever. This should be game. The only way he can stop me is end me to two and hope I don't draw an energy to do Venom Shot. Because I can't really knock him out with Psychic Club. But then if I get a Battle Crush, I can get rid of Kingdra. No, the alternate Cosmic GX. Yeah, it's all good though, Timmy. Maybe down the road, Rosa Malamar could be fun to look at. But for now, I just want to look at a lot of the, the new cards that just came out. Ah, we'll see if we can win this tourney here. Venom shot. Wait, what? I would have played order pad just for the meme, but like, if that was going to get heads, I'd rather save the heads for when I actually need to play order pad, so. You know what? I don't even know if that, you know, even matters, but I'm going to say it matters. Ooh, 
Ooh, double Lele. I think he's on my friends list. Yeah, he is. If you're in the stream, welcome. Actually, there's a few people I think I recognize. So if you're in the stream, welcome. Please don't be playing a uh, anti Mewtwo deck, Kappa. I can make you a deck with the new Naga Buzz, but it's it's not expanded. That's fine, Mina. I'm not planning on making any expanded videos right now, anyways, for the new set. But if you do have a good Naga Guzz for standard, let me know. I'm trying to make a trying to get something good for that. It's hard to get the cards that you need. How much are great catchers worth? Uh normal great catchers are like worth like one pack right now. One like or half a pack of cosmic eclipse. Like one just literally the value of one for one great catcher. Or you get two great catchers maybe for one cosmic eclipse pack. I think that's how it works right now. Secret rare great catcher is around 15, 16 cosmic eclipse packs. Around 1.5 Joker. Oh. I don't know. We have a little bit of a wait here, so uh yeah, there's that. But if you want, yeah, if you want to send me a good list for Naga, uh, send it on Twitter. Take like a screenshot PCGO and like send it on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is at Little Dark Fury. The same thing here, obviously. All right, let's go chill on trades and see what's going on. Could you send me the private offer? God, I don't think I don't have any uh, great catchers for trade. All the great catchers I have that are unlocked, I'm gonna try to trade them off for extra packs. All right, yeah. So here, I'll go on Twitter right now to check it out. So we gotta wait a little bit for this tourney. We still have to wait for all three other rounds. We've been streaming for two hours. This is almost the most I've ever streamed for, or the longest I've ever streamed for. Try the new Sawsbuck deck yet? Yeah, looks fun to me. I've seen like Sawsbuck Florges. Um, I don't know. Sawsbuck's interesting. It's like it feels to me kind of more like a weirder version of the Hitmonchan deck. Because I think Hitmonchan with Quad Dojo and Clefairy Dolls could be kind of memeable, and also play like an Alolan Ninetales. Wait, I have to start the PC. All right, it's all good, dude. Victini Vivid Sleep. That is not worth it. See if we can get some good snipes. The best snipe that I've gotten so far with Cosmic Eclipse, I really think was Dedenne GX for seven packs or a Secret Rare Fire Energy. I did get a Secret Light Energy, I think, for like six packs too. But those were trades that I put up. Those weren't actually like trade snipes. I did get a Silvali GX though for five packs. Oh yeah, no, and I got an Oceus Dialga Palkia GX for two Cosmic Eclipse packs. I forgot. That was something I got yesterday. God, now I gotta scroll all the way up. This isn't going to work. Alrighty then. Let's look at these snipes. None of them look very good. Nope. No snipes today. Rip. 18 pack for Reshi Realm. Oak set up full art. Five packs. I don't know what his real value is. Whoa, did any for seven? How many do you have now? I literally have seven right now. I trade off a uh, regular did any for metal or secret metal energy earlier. Yeah, I got four regular did and three full arts, but two of them are locked. But I was trying to like I I do want to stock up on did any so just because of um man island challenge amulet is cheap. That's a pretty that's decent if it's cheap right now. Um, but yeah, I uh. Did get the Dedenne for seven. I like it is good to stock up on Dedennes right now, just because of the new supporter rule change might make it go up in value. So that's why I was trying to get a few of them. But I did get some secret energies for a pretty cheap cost. Let's see if I can snag any more dark energies. I want to get more darkness energies because I got a secret dark energy for around uh, it was what like twenty one packs I think forty two packs. I mean that honestly like might not seem good but like it is kind of worth it right now because the the dark energy is worth 75 packs hello can you help me i only have 27 packs of uh see, cosmic eclipse i want trade for two Zavali, uh one two reshiram and a fuller how many packs 
should I trade for that? I don't think 27, 27 will not get you that. Fire Juniper is, I think, around like 16, 15 packs right now. Um, Reshi Roms are very expensive. They're like going to be around like 15 to 20 in that range. So volleys are worth seven to eight Cosmic Clips packs. So you'd have to get a lot more Cosmic Clips pack Fed Star if you want to get those cards. Anybody wants to give me a or an alternate Mega Low Punny for four Cosmic Clips packs? But I don't got that offer. Let me know. To be honest, I'm not sure you can afford to Reshi Rom. Yeah, it's that that won't work out, Fed Star. Uh, so 42 packs for a secret of dark energy. No, thanks. Let's see fairy energy fairy energy is hard to get I do not have one yet and it is over 100 packs right now And I really do want to get it while it's cheap, but there's no good offers that I want to accept the best offer would be 58 packs Ooh, That is super tempting. That is very very tempting Well, let me pull this out 58 times 2 I think it's 116, right? Yeah, that's worth it. That really is worth it. Hold on, what if I try 58 times 2.5, 145. Okay, never mind, that's not worth it. That was like the best offer I've seen for Fairy Energy though today. All right, let's check out Water Energy. Let's see what Water Energy is saying. No, not so far. Where are the secret water energy trades at, my guys? Okay, I guess no one wants to trade water energy off. Oh, there it is. 45, nope, that is not worth it. Secret water energy would be around maybe 20 to 15 cosmic eclipse packs right now, if I had to guess. I'm going to put up a public trade for fair energy. So I think cosmic eclipse is worth 2.5 right now, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how accurate that is. Once I saw, I saw once the secret fraternity for 11 packs, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, back in the day, well, depending on when it was, back in the day, the, the thing used to be not very expensive, and now it is the most expensive secret energy on the game. So secret fraternity is around 110, 115 packs right now. I know that much. Cosmic Clips should be 2.5. So, in theory, if I put in, because I do want to get a secret fraternity for cheap, we're gonna go under 100 packs here, boys, to do this, but we're an attorney, so I don't really care. Oh, shoot, really? Okay, I can't do the math in my head. All right, 48 packs. That's my final offer. 48 packs. Let's pull up the calculator. 48.120. Oh, that's still overpaying. Whatever. 48 packs is still better than paying for 110 packs down the road. Hey LDF, can you see me for trade cards uh, for a Dedene? Ooh, we got the Terminar Archies, nice. Um, well, Dedene GX right now, I think it's worth 13 to 14 um, Cosmic Eclipse packs for the regular art. The full art, probably 16, Secret Rare be 18, 17. I'm on Twitter, but I've never used it before. How do you get the picture? Um, well, you got a screenshot. Hold on, I gotta think here. Hold on. We'll take the garbage order pad. Try to get uh, heads to get Battle Presser. It actually got heads! Oh my god! Uh, didn't you say your top value video was 130 ish? Yeah, but the it's actually dropped since I made the video. Its value has declined. Okay. How am I doing this? We need to execute. Hey, I didn't even know you streamed cool. Yeah, Balin, I do stream like every now and then. Not as often though as I really want to. Let's get ourselves at Mew 3. Or should we focus on maybe arching out Greninja or Kingdra? Because he's playing Weezing. No, let's get me three. It, he might be playing my uh, Weezing Rats deck, which would be pretty scary. That's a pretty bad matchup. 
But I think we should still try to set up a turn one cross divide here, no matter what. We've already attached, so... What would I need? I guess another battle compressor would be good. Get more energy in the discard for superior, get the other execute in there. What deck is this? I am playing Archie's Mewtwo. Playing Azul's list from his recent video. Rip, I should have bought that Secret Pharyngy and sold it. It it it's tough, man. But Secret Pharyngy. Do I even want to bench more shadow? That's just an easy wheezing target. I think I should. I don't really like my hand. Get a new hand, Brickham, maybe. Fuller to Dene is now worth 40. Cause me clips. I traded for 1400. Okay. No. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Let me just see what I got. Ooh. Busted hand. Okay. I'm going to pass. Fuller to Dene is not worth 40. Cause me clips. It is worth 15 to 14 packs right now of Cosmic Eclipse. It's worth 32 packs right now for the regular art. I've pulled two full art Reshi Roms. I've two, pulled two full art regular art Reshi Rams and uh, a rainbow or rare Reshi Rom in the past day. That is busted, dude, considering it is like the most expensive GX in the set. So how does Twitter work? Well, there's a tweet. Okay, so if you want to send the picture... At the top here on mobile, it'll say what's happening, and uh, there's a picture of a Twitter of a pic. There's a picture here of a picture icon. Click that, and then it'll you go on your computer, link the picture, and then you you have to at me. So you you put the at symbol above the two with shift, and then you at Lil Dark Fury, send the tweet, and then tweet it out to me. Hopefully that makes sense, Kappa. All right, busted turn. We can Archie's again too. Okay, so. Alright, let's mail. Nice. Now we need to get rid of more energy. I want to cross divide him this turn. We also need to retreat the Tina. We're going to Archie's the King Drone to play too, so we have another attacker down the road. I hate coughing, guys. It is so annoying. All right. Catch that. Deluge. Ugh, why does Tina have such a fat retreat, man? This is sad. I mean, I'm fine with just knocking out coughing normally, but we'll see. We want to cross divide here for 200. We'll see if Archie's gets us another superior. We've only played one. All right. Give us that cross divide turn one or turn two. All right, not bad. How many VS Seekers have we played? Okay, we do have the turn work. Okay, we got the cross divide. Uh, are we out of VS Seekers? We are. Ooh, so we can't really afford to get rid of Guzma Juniper. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Let's get rid of the other Archies. We could put Greninja into play. And it can one-shot Weezing for two energy. We draw three cards. Cool. Superior, away, you, you. Sorry if I'm not talking, it's just, I need to think. <sighs> Order pad. Sure. I do want to save my bench spot for like a Lele for Guzma, but I think we're in such a dominant position. It's, there's no, there's no need not to. Why not? It's another attacker. Stealthy Hood, nice. I was looking for that. Because uh, now we don't get hit by Weezing's ability if that ever matters. 
Do I want to do cross division now or should I wait? We're not winning the game. But we can get rid of the Mew. I might I feel like I want to wait, to be honest with you. No, let's do it. This is still a good thing, I think, regardless of what happens. <sighs> Taken! If he had another coffin on his bench, we would have won the game. I think I want to put another Stully Hood on a Marshadow or Giratina so they don't just kind of get spammed. There's a company that is making androids to help the utterly and they're paying 100k pounds to let them use your face. Wow. Also, Florida Day is not worth 40 Cosmic Clips. Can't confirm. No, it is not. It is not. Anything you would have liked from the new set but didn't get a chance to get? More so Volley GXs. And full art supporters. And stuff like that. A good dragon deck with the new expansion. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, good dragon deck. Reshi Rom, RC Stelkapalkia, Negaguz. They're all pretty decent. I hate Coffin. Coffin is a good boy. He's a good boy, all right. I like playing Weezing and Expanded. It's hilarious and fun to play, but we'll see what happens here. I think we're gonna go for Venom Shot. Hmm. What do I do? I don't want him to spam fly and flip either, though. But, like, wheezing is even worse. Because look how much damage it's going to do. If we knock him out, though, he gets spell tag. Probably get ready to attack. We should attach. Go for a. I really do think Venom Shot is the best play here. Knock out the Lele. He'll get another flying flip on board though, but we can knock out the Lele here. I think we can still take all our prizes before he wins, so that's the other thing. Because, like, he could magical swap my Blastoise, but we have this guy in place, so it might not matter. So, you know what? Let's just miss Slash. Sure. I don't know if that was worth it or not. We'll see. We can still Archies again, too, with our hand. What deck are you playing? I am playing... Oh, hey, Angela. Uh, yeah, I'm playing my... Uh, playing Mew 3 Blastoise here. I'm doing an expanded tourney right now to try and win some Cosmic Eclipse packs. If you are done with the tournament, please check your Twitter. Yeah, I'll check it right now, actually. Yikes, that is a lot of damage. So I think we just Venom Shot him now. knock that thing out next turn we are gonna have to retreat here into Greninja I think unless we get end just want to get that thing off the board okay I got your deck list here Mina I do see it all right cool I'll consider looking at it I don't know if I want to do a Malamar uh, video though on it because it's just kind of boring. You're treating a Greninja. We'll play this. Get rid of Mew. I don't think we're going to need the other Mewtwo anymore. Like, we're in a pretty good spot, I would say.
and we're just going to miss slash. Thanks to the stealthy hood, Weezing's ability ain't hit me. So close to 6k subs. Yeah, I'm getting there. The deck can brick a bit, but when you set up, it is going well. Yeah. You know, if you're playing... If you're paying 500 euro a month to go live for free in an island in Greece... I don't know what you mean, Albert. Fuller Juniper for five for 12 common clips. No way. Savali is closer. Has to be the right one. No, Fuller Juniper would probably be worth... 8 Cosmic Eclipse? 7 maybe at most? They could still magical swap me here. But there's not enough damage on board, so I think we're fine. Nope. Alright, looks like we win. Ugh. Ooh, a Hans Crow. That's fine, though. We still have a bunch of attackers. There's nothing they can do. Some cards you can change out because I uh, don't don't have them, so I replace them. Yeah, I'll definitely look at it, Mina. But I don't know if I want. I just don't know if I want to do Malamar on Naga Guz because it's just kind of kind of plain and vanilla for that card. But I don't know. Maybe it's like the best way to play it secretly. Greece is paying people to populate New Island. Interesting. Do they have do they even have an energy? They've played two so far. They have three cards. Oh, they're going for the triple energy wheezing. Next game. GG to double Lele here. G G. <coughs> <coughs> Have you built a Reshiram deck yet? Nah, I don't know if I want to do a video on it because it's just like every other person's going to do a video on it. So it's like, meh. But there we go. GG to my opponent. Ooh, Private Offer for Xerneas. All right, I'll check that out after this final game against Kofferigus43. Please be playing a bot deck or just a bad deck so I can win. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know. They might be playing Dark Box maybe? I don't know. It feels bad when you get two free prizes with the double dragon energy. Double dragon, yeah. Ooh. I like going first. Turn one Mewtwo is really good. Assuming we get the turn one Archies. <coughs> <coughs> Man, I apologize for the coughing, dude. I... I mean, six sucks. Okay. We didn't get it here, but that's fine. We can Marsh Shadow Let Loose to try and re-roll it. Okay, but everyone won't do a video like you do. For example, me personally, there are some people I just can't watch. I don't know, Balan. I don't know. Are they playing Vespaquin? I don't know, man. This is going to be an interesting final. I really wanted to do more cross vision here. They have a bunch of low HP Mons in play. Whitney! What? I'm trying to make an Excadrill Jack, but I have... But I discarded three Excadrills. Yikes. <laughs> I just sent a message to the Greece government to see if I can snag a spot. Nice, Albert. If you can, I mean, it's free money. What are they playing? They're playing Spirit Tomb. Ooh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I really want to cross-division them now. As long as I don't bench anything with too much HP, turn on cross division is a thing. They're not gonna win on this turn, are they? No, they can't. There's no way. Yeah, I apologize for the. Uh, but you gotta blow my nose. You gotta do what you gotta do. Dude, I'm so confused right now. I guess they just wanted to go for a turn one Whitney and draw like a huge hand. Now that the new theme decks came out, do you guys think Kyogre is the best? It is for me because Empoleon. Kyogre is pretty good. I don't know though, but Relentless Flame I still think is like the best theme deck. Bolin like the sport. Oh, okay. There you go. Never mind. Sorry, man. I do punish. Rush Ram deck or Arceus tag team? I do want to build an Arceus deck. I just need to get one more Arceus. I have a trade up right now though. 
All right, well, if we can get a turn one cross divide here, that would be amazing. There you are feeding me damage counters. I mean, we should still win this game regardless with one cross divide on these spirit tombs. It's not even a big deal. They have to, like, power plant me or... I mean, that's about it. Power plant. I guess power plant Honchkrow would lock me, but that's about it. But then I can attack with Kingdra. If I had to build one Empoleon or Gallade... Uh, Gallade might be better, but, like, Empoleon seems cool, too. Here we go. We're going to re-roll and let loose. Did not get turn one art G's. If this draw actually had 10 more damage on it, Maelstrom could have been a thing. Okay, I think we just gotta go Lele here. I think we gotta go for the tip of Lele. Assuming it's not in the prizes. I think we can still win this. One cross division should be enough to win us the game. Cricket Todd, new meta. Cricket Tune, I think is good. Wow, we almost didn't have any way to draw cards. That would have been really sad. There we go. We got it for next turn. Nice. Nothing to copy. So we're going to pass. I guess I should have Viridian for the Psychic Energy in case it gets bumped. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. We have com we have Computer Search, though. We're chilling. Actually, wait. Do we need the Computer Search to get Archies? No, we have Trainers now. Okay, we'll see what happens. I should have got the Psychic Energy, though. Can I add you on PDC Joe? If you want Bolin, my friends list is full right now, so that's the only issue. Galley's more consistent because of the search options. Yeah, and it has treasure too, right? Oh, I guess it has a search option, Kappa. I think Great Catcher is worth more than you think. I made a pub trade giving four great six cosmos and got accepted. Interesting. Uh, these low HP Pokemon are so beautiful. Giratina could be hilarious too. If he ever puts these tombs at 50 HP each, we can just come in with a Giratina and knock both them out. You said that Juniper is worth like 8 packs of Cosmic Eclipse. Or 9 packs and I get this. Yes, I'm a stupid guy. How many packs should I offer? At most, maybe try 8 packs of Cosmic Eclipse. 9, I guess, would also go through pretty easily. Let's see if he knocks me out here. I don't think he can. Yo, have you let Misty out yet? Well, I did when I first streamed. I do have to feed her, but yeah, after this tourney, I am going to end the stream, guys. We've been streaming for two and a half hours. But yeah, after the stream, I will end the thing. Uh, I want. I just want to send you an RCS Dialga Palkia to help you out. Oh, okay, Bolin. If you, yeah, sure, if you want. Uh, after this game, I'll unfriend someone and like add me. Okay, here we go. Big turn. Okay, I'm trying to think. And that's psychic energy. We're gonna cross division here. Wipe his entire board. We have the we have the eggs in the discard. We're good. We can even Tina. So we can go Tina ten ten. We can take like four prizes here. Okay, we need Battle Compressor. Okay, do we have Archies in there? We don't. So we can't take that. Dang it, I was hoping for Battle Compressor because I need to get energy for Cross Divide. But we can always do Cross Divide at any other point. It's not the end of the world if we don't get it now. But we do get it! Wait, do we? Uh, I think we're short. We're short one energy. 
We have Shaman in the discard. Okay, we don't have it. That's fine. We'll wait a turn. We'll wait a turn then. That's fine. The more damage he gets on his other tombs, the more damage we have to add. Cosmic Eclipse, of course. I have not... I have not other packs. Yeah, yeah. Cosmic Eclipse... Maybe 9. I don't know if Juniper's worth 18. Okay, maybe try 9 then, Fedstar. Where's Machoke from Guardians Rising? Yeah, if only he had a Kappa. Not trying to buy my way onto your friends list. I just like having content creators. Uh, yeah, it's all good, Bolin. I understand, dude. I do appreciate it a lot, dude. I do. I really do. Oh. Stream Target Blastoise. Yikes. Is that knocking me out? It is. Alright, do this so I can knock out Tina. How many packs is Secret Dive Ball worth? Cosmic Eclipse worth? Probably three packs at most. <coughs> <coughs> the only bad thing is, is we're going to really need a lot of energy here to get there. trying to think okay we do have it we're good we have to lose our superiors in order to pull this off again Prevent damage from abilities. Sure. Alright, round two. He might not get me again, but again, I'm gonna wipe his board here. Nice, we got it. Remember guys, a lot of big brain goes into these plays, Kappa. Get rid of one. Ah, he concedes. Okay, we're good. Alright, so I'm gonna wrap up the stream here, guys. So I'm just gonna do a few more things. We got six packs. We can, uh... So, okay, Bolin. I'll unfriend someone so you can add me here. Because I gotta do a few things before I end the stream. I really don't know it on friend. I guess Freddy Lake. I'm so sorry, Freddy Lake, if you're watching the stream. I do apologize. So we can buy three packs from the shop, which, why not? End off the stream with a little pack opening. So you can add me bowling. And then we're good. Uh, what do you think a secret Alana fishing rod is? I got three. Yeah, it's around like three or four uh, Cosby Clips packs for secret rod. Deck code, please. Pog champ. If you want, oh, if you want the deck list for the Mew Three deck, I'll show it in a minute. Ooh, got coughing. Uh, check my trade offer if you want. Wait, you're talking to me, Savon? Sorry, I'm just like kind of thinking. Ooh, got a Zatu. We got a Fion. That's the first. And we got a Jolteon and a Beastite. All right, can we wrap this out with a GX pull or a full art or secret pull? Let's see. Cricketune. No, we didn't get there. Rip. Whatever though. It's all Gucci. Right, bowling jobs it's you okay fed star um hopefully i can accept it no okay hold on before we do that we'll go friends dang it some of these people like they don't play that much but like i just don't want to unfriend them uh all right sorry winnie day i it is what it is All right, so yeah, we'll wrap up the stream here, guys. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. And as always, guys, if you're looking for PDCGO codes, uh, get it. That was not the trade section. Rip. <laughs> if you guys are looking for PDCGO codes, um, get over over our card for TCG. Use code LDF for the checkout to support the channel and all that good stuff. The Dene for that. Uh, sorry, Xerneas. I, I can't accept that, buddy. I can't accept that. I can't trade the Dene off anyways. I only have three. Uh, ooh, thank you once again, Bolin Jobs. I do appreciate it. Is it to borrow, by the way, or to keep? You just deleted me, bro. 
<laughs> oh, Albert. Uh, all right. Well, oh my God, you have Tyler, one of their friends, used to play a long time ago. Wait, yeah. Let me see. Wait, do I? Yes, I do. Tyler one. Yep. I used to go back in his Google Hangouts back in the day when he played. Yep, Tyler one. What? Okay, let me. I'll show. I'll show you some of the YouTubers I do have. I have a blue golf ball, or I used to. I use. I, I used to. I think I have Zapdos TCG on here. Yeah, I do. Um, and I have Outcast. I don't really have that many YouTubers on here, but just those guys. Uh, but yeah, I do have Tyler one on here. Used to talk to him quite a bit back in the day. Used to join his streams and stuff. But anyways, I'll wrap the stream here, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a new Peace Show video. <coughs> Have a good day, and uh, bye-bye. <coughs>